All right, and we should be live. All right, let me know if you guys can hear me. Background music now. Just smidge. All right, sweet. We should be started. Uh, let me know if everything is uh, good. I don't know why I look so. Honestly, if anything, I, I prefer it since I put the lights like not in my face. You know, so you could probably tell I look a little bit darker. But um, honestly, that helps a lot. Not having two, you know, bright lights shining in your face for three hours so uh what's going on genius uh bygone bricks activated stew uh i am apollo shreddy uh michelle page uh thank you for the bajillion w's but don't do it again at least for a little bit uh genius says it's fine oh already right off the bat shout out to a uh, darth off uh Ostiff for the buck 99 uh love you dude thanks for doing this heck yeah uh thank you for uh being here you're a uh, very good very good friend of the channel a lot of support uh you know whether it's watching or or sending in the occasional super chat so uh starting off only a minute and 20 in let's see what bobby was to say <laughs> looks like he's just starting off the night too man but i appreciate it let's see what else is happening here we have cooper we have speed we have Stu, uh we have john anonymous we have chess uh cerberus we have darth traitorous Pandy, Saucy, Billy, uh, Mita, Darth Bricks. Uh, we have Jaden Weeks. We have a bunch of people in here. How's everyone doing on this uh, on this Friday night? How's everyone doing? Like I said, tonight, I'm not too sure how long we're going. If I'm being honest, I'm not too sure. Might be going for a couple hours. Might be going for... A little bit, uh, but quite frankly, the biggest thing, like I said, we will be building the Venator tonight um, right here. I'll tell you this. The one thing I can guarantee tonight before the stream ends is bag number two will be built. I can guarantee that. So if you want to see bag number two being built, you guys can stay for that. But you already know the, the predominant part about these streams is having a good time talking with everyone and uh, having a a good chat you know that's the whole whole purpose of a live stream in my opinion talking to the the live chat right uh we have michael uh activated stew says do you have a spot for the venator once it's complete um so at the current point it's literally just gonna be on my um my kitchen island for uh, for a little while it's gonna be on my kitchen island for a bit probably like two three weeks and then at that point i'll, I'll, I'll have to find somewhere else Um, only bag two. Yeah, I built one bag last stream. Uh, it took four hours. And then um, throughout the week, I've been meaning to do more, but I have no time. Uh, John says, Tyler, I work for Ghost. What is your favorite flavor? I can send you a case of the drinks. Uh, if you're being for real, John Henkel, that is absolutely incredible since I drink a Ghost probably four or five days a week. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, my favorite flavor is probably sour green apple sour watermelon or even the sour pink lemonade probably those top three or i will say this it would be really cool i've not been able to find sour strips yet i've not been able to find that flavor i mean i know presumably it's only at vitamin shop but i've not been able to find it yet at my local one that's bananas man if that's actually true I mean, I literally, and even then, I mean, see, you know, even right here, actually, just for the sake of it, since you're in here, John, there we go. I'll even get the low. There we go. I'll keep it like that the entire stream now. So a little, little free promo. His favorite flavor is Razor Crest. Hell no. I'm on bag eight out of 46. I thought it was uh 48 bags. Am I right on that? 46, 48. Is, let me let me ask: Is anyone else actually building the Venator right now? Is that is anyone else actually building their Venator as I speak? I'm curious. Sour green apple is good, but the malic acid be killing my throat. Damn. Not me keeping it sealed. I'm probably I'm gonna try to get a sealed one before it retires, of course. But um, you know, no point of buying it day one just to keep it sealed for me at least. I'm watching this while painting my Merrick costume. Heck yeah. I was building mine earlier. No way, John. It's Michael from work. So we have we have multiple. 
We, we have multiple ghost employees in here? That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. You think the Venator will go on sale at some point? Of course, yeah. Well, direct sale, no. Okay, but if you want to talk about... Uh, so I take that back. Scratch that. Not direct sale. I mean, maximum. But I don't think it's... I mean, maybe before it retires, maybe they'll do a 20% off. You know, we're talking three years from now. Maybe, but... Well, and even then, I take that back even again because we don't know exactly, you know, will it show up Kohl's.com? Will it show, show up, you know, Target.com? You know, usually, you know, like places like that, you know, Kohl's.com sometimes, you know, they've had like the at at for like 100 bucks off or the Falcon for a little bit cheaper. And then even on top of that, you get Kohl's cash for it, you know? So it's like, again, you can get your Venator, say... You know, say it's even like six fifty down to six hundred, but then you get two hundred dollars in Kohl's cash back, and it's even crazier. You know, so that I can fully see, but a, a direct sale probably not. Well, apparently we have three ghost employees in here. Shout out the master. Uh, hey, hear me out, Kahoot stream. We'll do another one. I'm thinking probably the next Kahoot stream will be like uh, Christmas break, you know, winter break around there. I think that'd be a fun time to uh, you know do another one. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Publicious flavors? I don't like either of them personally, Shreddy. They're, they're both at the bottom of my uh, my ranking. Uh, in Ryan's most recent Ask Him already said the Venator isn't a top five UCS. That's all. It's all his opinion. Yeah, you know, then I'm not gonna. He's not wrong. He's not right. You know, bottom line of it, just like I'm not wrong and I'm not right. That's just all my. I mean, I think there's a little objectiveness to the Razor Crest being overrated, but just a smidge, maybe one percent. Other than that, though, it's just all my opinion. Uh, Tango Mango, what's up, Tyler? Been a minute since I've hopped on a stream. Yeah, I just got back into it uh, earlier this week. Um, I didn't stream for like a month and a half there. And even before that, I only streamed like one time. I've only streamed like twice in the past like four months. So. Uh, also, Sean, I'm holding you onto that course offer. All right, let's crack into the bag at least, guys. Let's crack into the bag. It's like a little bit of a slower night. I'm an hour late. Um, I don't know how long I'll be going. Uh, I'll complete this bag and then... Actually, how many likes are we at? I forgot because we have to see... I I'm doing the every every like equals one piece. So it looks like we got about hmm, maybe, maybe 70 pieces in here. So let's grab 70 likes really quick. Let's and then I, I forgot throughout the stream too. Throughout the stream too, we'll be talking about uh, leaks and stuff too. If you guys want any questions, you guys have because that, that was a big thing. Let, let me just tell you here: when when the new stuff, if it's all right, comes out publicly in the next couple weeks, it's gonna blow your socks off. So it's like it kind of like reinvigorated my hype for 2024. That's kind of why I did that video today, also. So it's like between all that and me I, I forgot i mean those have been out for over two months when i saw some of those posts from like middle of july about the 2024 stuff i'm like holy shit man i mean where's time gone so 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 truly i mean it's been a um that, i mean as of like the past two days or so i mean my my 2024 hype has been reinvented man i'm excited for 2024 hey tyler i work for ghost what kind of gets you i'll send some over is, so we have is that is that the is that the ninth ghost employee here? Are all eighty seven of you guys all ghost employees? It, I, the only one I can guarantee that's not is is Sean. So is, is everyone else a ghost employee in here? Thank you, genius. What's up? What's everyone saying Tyler for? What's up? All right, let's crack open my brick separator. My brick separator bookmark here. Oh my god, no, they actually got me, dude. I no. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. G guess what they just if you guys have built the Venator, guess guess what they're actually making me do here. Guess what they're actually making me do here. That's unreal. Right, right when I thought I was gonna get away with only building bag two tonight. Can you guys believe what they're calling for here? Am I reading it right? Who else has built the Venator? Am I am I reading? I don't think I've ever seen a set with this before. Can you guys tell? They're actually making me. I'm gonna give it, it's delay on the chat. Let me see if you guys can guess it. 
No, helmet holes are still uh, still in 2024. Yeah, we'll talk about the Revan thing. Um, that was pretty interesting when it popped up on uh, the Reddit thing and, and the Eurobricks thing I saw. Yeah, well, here, here. I'll show the camera, yeah. Look at, look at what it's calling for. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Let me know. Right when I thought I was going to only have to build bag two and there's only like 50 pieces in there. They're making me, so let me just, let me confirm. Uh, who else has built it? Do I actually have to pour out both at once? Is that, I, I don't think I've ever had a set like this. Do I pour out two and three at once and I will have to be building from two bags, two and three, the entire, you know, step. Am I correct on that or am I mistaken? Because bag three is looking like a hefty bag, man. <sighs> okay, Angel saying yes, Darth is saying yes. Tango says they got me, yep. Oh, okay, so never mind. I, I won't be able to get out of here under two hours. Jeez, man, we're gonna be here until... No, that's absolutely insane. That is bananas. What is the point of numbering them at that point? Why not just have two bag twos? Like every other set I've ever done, they just have multiple of the same numbers. I mean, why would they literally do two and three? That doesn't make any damn sense. No, no, I, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. I agree, Stu. All right, let me uh, let me mute really quick so I can dump these out. Honestly, the one thing I can say is at least it looks like, I mean, sure, you have like a whole bag of like black Technic pins here, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, at least like, the, you know, they're all just like the tiny little ones. But for the most part, at least in the actual bulk of the pieces, it's basically all not Technic. I mean, sure, you have some like Technic bricks, but, um, you know, there's only so many, you know, actual pure Technic things. So, um, yeah. At least I'm forcing it in that regard. So it might go a little bit quicker because I'll, I'll tell you guys honest. I mean, it's uh, part of the reason like on a set like this too. I would, I would be honest with you guys. Uh, you know, this is one of those things like I don't want to run the risk of messing this set up like whatsoever. Like it's, uh, you know, a fear of mine. Like all it takes is, you know, live streaming and, uh, you know, messing it up. And then it's like, there goes the Venator. But uh that's why it's like yeah i'm gonna try to do like a bag of stream type thing like i, I mean the thing is i'm only gonna be doing what two more streams after or three more streams i'm gonna try monday wednesday friday next week but other than that i gotta build everything off camera because i just want to be able to uh to sit here and not f it up you know what i'm saying i'm actually reasonably close but wouldn't want to take that away uh anyone interested in a sealed mint gel uh if you had a, a palpatine's arrest i would uh, Darth says my sniffing and other wants to go aim ASMR restaurant and I'm completely avoiding the entertainment of the idea. Uh, please help convincing her. Uh, no, she's watching too. An ASMR restaurant? I don't even know what that is. Like, like actual, like, like the, t like that, like, like, like that ASMR or what? Or am I missing something? Is that a type of food? Uh, do you go to Michigan Lego store for day one pickup? Uh, I do not go to Michigan Lego stores, no. Um, have you ever thought about building more mocks? I would like to, but um, I've realized now, now that I'm not 15 anymore, um, it's not as easy to take all the time in the world and build Lego all day. <laughs> you know, there's a lot, I mean, and, you know, it's just a lot of stuff going on nowadays. What Mac is that? This is just a 2017 MacBook Pro. This is my old one because, again, I've yet to figure out how to put all the software on my new computer. So part of the reason why these streams are still 720p, which, uh, you know, not the best, but it's not the worst. Not the worst quality, hey? It was, it, hey, it was, it was the highest quality at one point. Just just picture picture this is uh, the, the glory days, 2012. Picture it's 2012 again. Uh, Darth says, yes, or yep, they eat the food, not you. They eat the food? Oh, I don't know about that. I've eaten. What's the point of that then? 
Yeah, no, I'll, I'll be frank. If she's watching, uh, I don't think that's the move. I do, I do not think that's the move. I, I, I mean, literally. Why not just spend that 20 bucks and get your own your own food? Uh, so Randy, the thing is, I mean, I don't follow like your book, like your bricks, like whatsoever. Like, I guess like that guy's like pretty prominent over there. But like, uh, from like what I know, I mean, based off a couple people and just like what they even said, like in that little thing when I checked it, like, I guess he's actually like been on par with other stuff. Um, I don't remember like the last thing he said. I mean, I, I think it was something to do with 20. I think he was maybe the first one to like drop like the, the actual like 2024, like the Tantive and like the Falcon and stuff. Maybe he was. I mean, I, I know all I can say is like he is a person that like when people say his name, like it's not like an instant like, oh, he's just kind of making shit up. You know what I mean? But like even that was like a pretty blunt term on the fact of like, what does it truly mean? You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's like it could be anything like and it's like is Revan in a poly bag. Like, you know, is he uh, in a set? Is he uh, is, is it a patch? I mean, what if they do like a patch of Revan? How, how mad would you guys be? I, I would love to hear in the chat right now. How mad would you guys be if they just had a Darth Revan patch for May 4th, 2024? How would you guys feel? I'm curious. What would what, what would uh, your reaction be? Would you guys like that? A Revan keychain, Billy would riot. A patch, no way. I mean, hey, it could be a Revan patch. That's that's what I think he meant. I think he meant Revan patch. Patch equals burn. Or I mean, honestly, what what if what if it's a scenario where it's like. I'm just kind of thinking about like how else they could do like a a fig like that. Like say if they, like they meant to go like promo route. Like what if it's like a, a pearl gold? You know like the, how the Harry Potter sets had gold figures in there for like their anniversary or whatever. Imagine, uh, would you guys be mad if the Revan was gold, like completely gold? Will that take it away? Oh, and actually, really quick, uh, we have Darth Ostith for another buck ninety nine cheering some chorus to you and Sean. Get that gross shit out of your hand, man. Get something get something a little bit more class. No no cores will ever be drank on uh on my stream. But thank you, Darth Office. But I'll put that dollar ninety nine towards a proper a proper drink. Hello, I bubble freak. There we go. Proper introduction by Babu. Proper introduction. A Revan sticker. Yeah, King of Cage. I'm back. I'm back to it. I'm back to the video grind. Uh, Niall says, "Tyler, the video you posted today, you said you were fatigued of clones. Why? I don't know. I, I think it's just probably just part of like growing up. You know, me thinking, me personally thinking the quality just ain't there. The passion isn't there. You know, from like Lego for the clones. And uh, again, I feel like it's almost like kind of my personality type where it's like the clones are so like overhyped nowadays that I really just feel like the draw for me personally to them." is just gone you know because it's just like i don't know it's like way too much stuff going on with clones these days you know in every aspect uh if we get 2k tonight a tyler viewer gets a deluxe box of boys aka republic fighter tank so it looks like sean is putting up a uh another giveaway proposal um if acob you know the channel that uh you know super chatted right there a couple of brickheads uh his 2k i think they're like what 50 away 46 away something like that uh, if they hit 2k tonight, they'll be giving away a, a Republic fighter tank to a life bricks viewer. So if you guys want to go and subscribe to them, I know a lot of us share or both of us, you know, share a bunch of the same, uh, you know, people that hang around these streams. So maybe not too many new of you guys here, but if there are new people there, definitely go sub to them. And, uh, that's a possibility for tonight, especially if this stream ends up being a couple hours, uh, you know, more and more people come in. But uh, thank you, Sean, for the four ninety nine, and uh, let's see how many people can go over there uh, for the channel to uh, subscribe. Uh -oh. I don't know. I don't know. Babu's not too confident. Babu doesn't believe in the fifty subs. That's not good. 
all right let's go down to the i probably missed a couple of your guys this thing let me go down let me go down here i respect your opinion but i disagree there are so many different ranks and commands but i do agree with you when you said the quality yeah and it's like look i, I mean again i'm just saying i'm fatigued you get what i'm saying like again it's if anything i'm glad i am because i'm not putting out a thousand dollars every six months for 50 battle packs you get what i'm saying like so so genuinely it's like when people kind of like say like oh like you know life bricks is this life bricks is that for not liking the clones it's like i mean honest to god i'm i'm saving hundreds of dollars i mean is that not the better way to do i'm, I'm being a technically i'm being the smarter person right you know again people can spend their money however they want but if you want to get down to the bare bones of it i've got a couple of hundred extra dollars in my bank account you know rather than some helmet hole bad print 330 seconds you know Hearing Babu just reminds me of the Indian guy from Seinfeld. I've never watched Seinfeld. I never really got into many of those. Uh, like, I didn't watch, like, The Office. I didn't watch Seinfeld. Uh, what are some other ones like that? Isn't, like, Modern Family like that, or am I mistaken? I don't think... I've, I've never watched any of those. I uh, can't switch my brother's delivery driver for course, plus it's sometimes free. If you get it for free, then, I mean, look, that's just a good deal. That's just smart business. Drink the free product. You know what I'm saying? That, that I don't blame you. I don't blame you whatsoever there. I would never buy a helmet hold clone. Then what are you buying? What battle packs are you even buying now? There's not even... Pretty soon here, there's going to be no help. There's going to be no no clones that aren't helmet hold. Uh, Parks and Rec. I've never seen Parks and Rec. Uh, never seen Friends. Never seen Big Bang Theory. Literally, I'm trying to think like... I mean... If you want to get, like, I'm serious when I say the closest thing to, like, one of those shows that I've probably watched is, like, Drake and Josh. But it's, like, you know, it's not the same, but, like, kind of is the same. You get what I'm saying? It's, like, kind of maybe. Maybe you can consider it the same. But, like, that is technically the closest thing I've, I've watched to, like, do you guys, would you guys consider Drake and Josh and on the same level as, as The Office? Or is, or is that a hot take? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Honestly, here's a question. Here's a uh, off topic. I just finished my driver's. Heck yeah, Tango. Congratulations, man. Um, you watched season two of Loki. I have I have uh, not. So last night after ACOB, uh, I was meant to go to bed right away. I tried to watch Loki. I'm like, look, I'm going to try to catch this hour show. I think it's like 47 minutes. Um and dude, I was out within like three minutes of hitting my bed. I'm like, damn, that was like one of the fastest times I ever fall asleep. Like, so I'm, I'm going to watch it tonight as long as I'm not too tired after the stream. But I've got to watch that. And then another thing I got to catch up on heavily because is anyone watching? I'm curious. Is anyone um, is anyone watching Gen V? Is anyone watching the new uh, Gen V movie from the boys universe? Is anyone watching that? I'm curious. How, how are you guys liking it? From what I've seen, like, the reviews I've watched and stuff, you know, the reviews I've watched, you know, a couple of these little TikTok things, like, everyone seems to be liking it, you know? And, like, I know The Boys, like, I know The Boys is a great show, but it's just, like, I never started watching it. You know, I just, I never watched it, like, when it was airing. So I started, like, a month or two, or, like, maybe three months ago. I caught, like, you know, the first, like, half of season one, and then... I don't know. I kind of, it's just one of those things that's almost like a little overwhelming, you know, since I've got three seasons to watch, but now it's like, now I, I like, I'm probably going to binge like 10 episodes tomorrow because I want to be able to watch Gen V. Like it just, it looks great. Um, have you ever had a prime drink? I have, and I don't like them. I, I don't, I, I hate that artificial sweeteners taste, man. It tastes terrible to me. At least. Again, if you like, it, you can, you like, it. you know what I mean? It's Homelander. It was Homelander. Actually, I've, I've got no clue uh darth loves gen v uh cooper says gen v is great uh really quickly shout out to stud city for the buck 99 shorting the clone market <laughs> i don't know man how, how, you can blame helmet holes for that helmet holes helmet holes are the cause <laughs> bob has got no opinion on that man but thank you for the buck 99 man i appreciate it thank you christo Uh, the boys are the best possibly ever. Better than that Rick Grimes marathon. Get out of here, Sean. 
Bro, is anyone... Look, if you're a Walking Dead fan, who's excited for New York Comic Con this weekend or next week? And there's going to be a... Uh, a Rick Grimes spinoff trailer. Who's excited? Or am I the am I really the only person out of all 82 of us that's excited for that? Or is there at least one more person? Please, please tell me one of you guys. One of you guys is excited for a teaser tra official teaser trailer next weekend for the Rick Grimes spinoff. Or am I am I physically the only one here that has any sort of excitement for that? That would hurt my feelings. T.A. Bricks, are you really, though? Uh, Joe loves my videos. Thank you, man. I love you, Joe. Uh, what is Walking Dead? Never seen Walking Dead? I need to watch the show first. I've never watched Walking Dead. Cri Damn. Dude. If you guys, hey, if you guys like Life Bricks, you guys will like Walking Dead. That's what I'll say. The Office is not funny. Yeah, I, see, Chris, I mean, Hot Take, I've never seen, or I've never, I've never found Office funny either. Uh, John says, I saw today you have to pay $250 to get Caden Christensen signed something at a meet and greet. I would pay that in a heartbeat. Yeah, I've been meaning to. It's just uh, like Hayden hasn't been to any of the cons. Like, again, like, I, and I should probably just end up making the drive at some point, but um, like, he's been like the closest one he's been to me in the past like year is like Dallas, man. And Dallas is still like 11 hours away. And it's like, you know, I would do it, but like, that's kind of you have to make a kind of a whole trip out of there. At that point, it's not just 250 for a, an autograph you know, or for a picture or whatever, but you know, it's a thousand dollars for the whole vacation, you know? So it's like, um, yeah, if he ever comes to like Chicago, Indianapolis, or I mean, really anywhere, probably within like five hours, six hours, hundred percent. But I've also got to kind of look at it in the regards of like, how much longer is he going to be doing, you know, this like, you know, spree of comic cons and stuff. Where, again, last thing I want to do is have him say, like, hey, you know, I'm done going to these for 10 years. And, uh, you know, never get my chance. Bro, all the Walking Dead in, in this chat, man, is we're only 30 minutes in and you guys are already making me mad. That's crazy. I've never seen so much Walking Dead hate in, in one of my chats. What's up, Aircut? Uh, shout out to Ku Walter, longtime viewer of the streams, man. What's up? Uh, for the $5 super uh, chat, Soldier Boy is my role model. So, dude, again, I haven't been... Uh, Soldier Boy started in what? Season 3? The first season was Season 3 for him, right? Um... What Jensen Eccles plays him, right? Jensen Eccles. Uh, I know he's in Supernatural. Uh, I don't watch. I've never watched Supernatural that much. I think I like him as an actor, though. Like he seems chill amongst everything I've seen. I think he would make a great Batman. All the people like fan casting him for Batman. And um, yeah, I've seen some TikTok edits, of course, of like Soldier Boy. Like he looks cool, but uh, you know, I'm far away from that. I'd probably be at least another week or two until I'm on season three. But um, look, I'm still gonna say Captain America is better if you want to make that comparison. But uh yeah soldier boy man i mean he's, he's he's cool he's cool i guess he's not too shabby let's see if babu thinks uh, soldier boy is uh, shabby or not hey! babu must love him and sean's right i know i shouldn't even see quite frankly we're probably right here if there really is only 26 on the 26 likes on the stream I've probably only got 26 pieces built right here. We need more likes to get more pieces assembled, right? Read the pin to, read the pin chat, everyone. The pin to comment in the live chat. You guys got to read it. Every like is one piece. So let's see. We have 97 of you guys in here. Let's grab. If we're really at 26, let's. I'm gonna do a quick little update here. Where are we at? Oh, Sean, you got to refresh your thing, man. We're at like seven, we're at 74. All right, let, let's let's see it run up. Let's just get to, let's get to 80. Let's actually get to 80. So seven seven more of you. Look, I, look, I'm gonna say it right here. I, I'm gonna say it as it is. I know damn well out of the 99 of you guys in here, I'm pointing at you. Look, like who, I want to I want you to look at this finger. Look at me. I know you watching this did not like this stream yet. Like the damn stream. All right, let's get up to 80. And I'm calling you out in particular. 
Let, let's grab so se seven more likes needed. Now one more. Honestly, I would love to see in the chat. In the chat, when I, when I just did that, who was one of the people that didn't have it liked yet? Just put it in the chat. No, no bad feelings. No bad feelings, but just I'm curious. You know who who was just one of those eight people that had to like it? What's up, Pasta Water? Also, saw, I saw Jeremy Cross up here a little bit too. What's going on, man? Um. Okay, so yeah, Victor and 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 match. I I had a dislike before. Damn. Hey, should dislikes count as all oh, this sucks? I can't see dislikes. If if I could see dislikes, I would count them. <laughs> like the damn screen. Coo the goat of gifting. Oh, to hold up. What did I miss here? You guys, oh, I forgot. You guys got to let me know. If anything membership-wise comes in, StreamYard doesn't effing show it still. So did Koo just donate some, some memberships? Let me see. Oh, here we go. Koo Alter just uh, gifted one Life Freaks membership. Heck yeah. And it was gift. Oh, dude, to Jake. He oh, dude, that that's incredible, man. I'm always a fan. Like, look, I appreciate everyone that's here. You know what I mean? Like, again, usually we're cruising like 80 to 120 people. So like 100 average probably. Like, I love everyone that always hops in here. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, and again, there's probably a lot of you guys that always watch these that like, as they aren't always in the chat. But shout out to Jake, man. Shout out to Jake. I know he's always, uh, you know, a good a good friend of the channel, you know, on, on every social media platform. I know he's been watching these a little bit more lately. So and shout out to Koo for uh, actually, actually donating it. Yes, well see genius man that, that's what i uh believe me that's what i would do but i gotta figure out obs i told you guys before man if it ain't an iphone or like a ds or an xbox i don't know nothing about technology well hold, did i really miss it on my, and you guys didn't tell me i'm surprised no one no one said anything about that i don't think i acknowledged that on monday if that's true, then I mean, I'll do an extra shout out to Koo Alter and then shout out to Cooper for getting it. That's crazy. I didn't even see that. Yeah, if, if any if any membership gifts come in, um, I don't see that on my stream yard. So like, I would need you guys to actually uh, let me know. Uh, so Nolan, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it like this. I think Mandalorian season one and two is better than ahsoka but ahsoka is better than mandalorian season three okay i'm gonna leave it at that so so i mean sure if you take just like the general consensus of look we're comparing three seasons to one season and two seasons of the one is better than the one season i mean mandalorian is factually the better show and again i'm a big believer actually i forgot we haven't even Oh, dude, we can actually have a pretty good time tonight, man. I forgot. Okay, so never mind. I mean, we might actually go for a little bit longer. We might actually go for a little bit longer tonight because, uh, you know, first off, the piece is here. But then second off, you know, we got to talk about, you know, a couple of these leaks. You know what I mean? We'll go just a quick a quick little discussion about it, if you guys got questions or whatever. Um, kind of some pred uh, predictions on that. And then we got to talk about the ah Ahsoka finale. We got to talk about the Ahsoka finale tonight. Because I forgot the last time we were streaming was Monday night. And the last time, last thing I asked you guys, I said, you know, predictions for the Ahsoka finale. So, yeah, we got a little bit of stuff to talk about tonight. So, um, heck yeah, yeah. So, never mind. Yeah, we'll, we'll be going for probably another three, another three hours. See, the one problem, like, on Friday nights, I feel, it's almost, like, counterintuitive because, like, you know, the thing is, like, on a Friday, you know, everyone's, you know, got the weekend ahead of them, that type of stuff. But it's also like Friday night. I feel like there's a lot of people like streaming, a lot of people doing other stuff. So it's like, it's it's kind of weird. You know, it is. It's almost like the more I thought about it, like is doing a stream on a Monday night, like really the move? You know what I mean? Like, what do you guys think? Like, is it really the move? Because it's like, you know, sure. Like you got, you know, people got work and school, you know, Tuesday morning, but it's like, you know, Monday night. Like if you're just bumming around the house, like sitting in your bed type thing, or maybe building a set, you know, Monday night. Like, there's really nothing much else you're doing usually on, like, weekdays. Right? Am I right on that? What do you guys think? Uh, you think LEGO will ever make a UTA uh, if, if they don't make one in 2025, then I will 100% say they'll never make one ever. But 2025 is, like, the one opportunity where... 
where I mean they they better do it. What's going on, Collector Empire? Honestly, let, let's do it really quick. I got a question for all of you guys. Just put in the comments, okay, or put in the live chat your favorite. All, this is all, all, I, all I want for you guys. Just, just your singular favorite live action Star Wars show season. Okay, that's it. Okay, like just, you know, so not as a whole, like not all of Mandalorian, but just your number one favorite live action season. So is it, you know, Mando 2? Is it Ahsoka? Is it Andor? I'm just curious. I, I really want to see where we're kind of where we're kind of at here, of just the live action. We'll go just live action. And I saw someone. Hold up! I saw someone. Someone said someone gifted. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me. I gotta check the phone for this one, and then I'll then I'll start reading the. Uh... Oh, shout out to Koo Alter gifted another membership. It looks like Jackson got it. Heck yeah! I was gifted a membership by Koo. Appreciate it, man. And then shout out to Jackson as well for being a, I don't know what tiers those are. It sucks. I, I, the tiers don't pop up, but whether it's a life, a life support or a life, ah, oh, this is bad. Is it a life stud or a life brick? I don't know, but either way, life support, anything, whatever membership tier it is, I appreciate it. Okay. All right. So let's put Babu down really quick. And let's read some of these really quick. Okay, so let me see, let me go back. All right, Pasta Water was the first one. Um, Andor, Ahsoka Season 1. Ahsoka, Mando 2, Ahsoka, Mando 2, Mando 2, Mando 2. Uh, Squidman is not saying the truth, Season 1. Uh, Mando 2, Season 1 of Mando, okay. Uh, Book of Boba, Ahsoka, Mando 2, Mando 2, Mando 1. Okay, see now look. This is the type of everyone saying Mando 2 in here, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to you guys for saying Mando 2. Because I agree. Mando 2 is correct. Uh, Tyler, what do you like better, Kenobi show or the Ant? Dude, I mean, Kenobi, uh, I'm going to say this forever, all right? And and, I, I, and I'll be 100% honest with you. Until they make the only, I'll, I'll say it like this. The only thing that could be worse than a Kenobi season one is a Kenobi season two. Okay, I'll say it like that. So other than that, Kenobi will be the worst piece of Star Wars content ever produced for the rest of time. So um, Andor, and again, like that's the thing. And and I did tell some people, and here's kind of a thing. So oh, uh, dude, I actually I'm kind of I'm kind of screwed myself. So I, I need some opinions. All right, actually, let me run a poll. I'm gonna run a poll. Actually, let me let me put a poll up really quick, and uh, I want you guys all to answer. Oh, can I really not put a pull up on on my phone? That sucks, man. What's YouTube doing? All right, so for real, uh, yeah, yeah, Kenobi's worse than than anything, dude. I'd rather watch Jedi, uh, you know, Young Jedi Adventures. But if, again, if you like Kenobi, man, that's all you. You get what I'm saying? Hundred percent, yeah. The sequel trilogy, yeah, it's better than Kenobi. All right, so I need you guys thus because I, I told a couple people and I was thinking about it. I was either gonna watch Andor over the weekend. Oh, and then guess what I just said like 20 minutes ago I wanted to watch. Okay, so just put it in the chat right now, and I'm going to try to get a consensus. Do I watch Andor over the weekend or, you know, eight, nine episodes of The Boys? Okay, which one? So I got to watch Andor's, I got to watch Andor episode seven, or no, I got to watch episode eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So five episodes of Andor or, you know, five, six episodes of The Boys. Which one? Which one are you guys saying to me? Oh no. Uh Andor, Andor, Andor. The boys, okay. Andor, 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 Andor. The boys. Okay, another boys. Andor, 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 Andor. The boys. Okay. No, the and the boys featuring Andor. Hell no. The boys. Dan Flower comes out of the wind work just to say the boys. Okay, that's good. Shout out to Dan. Shout out to Dan. Because it's like, I mean, again, I, people people tell me Andor gets better. Like that I like literally dropped off like at like the, the height of like when I was about to get better. Like I don't deny that. But 
dude, I've told people, man, it scares me. Like I, it, it literally me thinking about Andor, it like again, and I appreciate the quality of the show. I'm, I've never, I've never knocked that. The fact it takes itself seriously, you know, uses its budget, makes it look great, well written. You know, I, I respect the heck out of the show for that. You get what I'm saying? But the scariest part about it is like I just I think back to like when Andor first premiered and episodes one, two, and three came out the, came out at the same time. You know, all in the same day. And dude, it's I just I, I I'm taken back to the fact of like dude, like I'm hype as heck th- two in the morning, and then I like, I'm not even tired. Like that was back like when my sleep schedule was like you know up at night to sleep during the day type thing. And dude, I mean it took me. I literally had to watch five minutes of Andor and then go do something for three hours. Dude, watch another five minutes. Go do something. Like, I got bored of shit every five minutes for all those first three episodes. And it took all week to watch it. It took all week to, like, I thought my assumption was going to be like Andor was like a, going to be like a WandaVision. You know how like WandaVision had like those black and white episodes that were like trash. You know what I mean? And it's like, I thought Andor was going to be like that, you know, get like the BS episodes out of the way, you know, release three at once, you know, and then after that kind of get moving, you know, but then it's like after the whole week of that, then it's like, from what I remember, it's like, you know, I was not a fan of four, five and six. It's like, so I'm just like, I'm, I'm just like remembering, man, how many times I just like physically had to go away from the screen where it's like, I get, but the thing is, I guess I got to try it. So I, I, pro- I probably will end up doing and I mean, I'll probably end up doing Andor this weekend, maybe. Just because it's Star Wars, you know, kind of a Star Wars kick. And speaking of that, though, uh, what's everyone's thoughts on Loki? Uh, we were kind of talking about it a little bit earlier, but then we got sidetracked. Dude, the, cl- the clones were in there for 20 milliseconds, man, from what I saw. Are, are, how, how, I want, I, actually, you guys can spoil it, I don't care. How, how many seconds of screen time do clones have? in andor i'm curious is, is it like the 20 seconds i think it is obi-wan show sucks 100 percent um 30 seconds 30 seconds of clones Can anyone uh, confirm or deny? 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 21 seconds. Loki season two was amazing. It was better than any Star Wars show, peak television. See, the thing is, man, Loki season one, dude, was fantastic, man. Like, I loved Loki season one, dude. The soundtrack, like everything. But the finale, I just didn't, I didn't, the finale didn't do much for me. You know, I think it kind of fell off with the finale, but. I'm excited for Loki season two. Again, I think it's, I think it's finally like one of the only, just like how I appreciate Andor. I think Loki is like one of the only Marvel shows to like ever take itself seriously, you know? And I, and I respect the hell out of a show for that. Like, you know, especially when you compare it to, you know, just like with Andor or Loki, like you have like 10 other shows per universe that just like, you know, again, dude, they're comedy fest, man. And I'm just sick of it, but you know, Loki and Andor seem to take themselves seriously, and it's like I can respect that. Uh, really quick, we have Darth Ostaf here uh, for a four ninety nine holler. Uh, says Andor had me bored, so I was getting rocks out of the th- tread from the bottoms of my shoes rather than watching that. Damn. Yeah, no, it really is just one of those things, man. It's like, dude, I can I can only watch that that guy eat cereal. You know, and, and, and the funny part isn't his name cereal. Am I right on that? Does anyone know? Am I right on the fact of the, the, the guy, the Imperial guy that was eating cereal for multiple scenes? Is his name cereal? Or was that just like a joke I heard somewhere that like was not the not the truth? Cereal Karn? Yeah, so Darth Austin, awesome, I don't I, I don't I don't blame you. I, I don't blame you whatsoever, man. I don't blame you for a second. See? Even Babu's laughing at that shit, man. That is the truth. The cold, hard truth. Uh, thank you, J-Man. Thank you. Andor's a slow burn. It gets... Well, see, and I've heard that a bunch. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Like, I mean, look, the thing is, dude, fundamentally, 
like i'm gonna finish andor season one 100 percent before andor andor season two comes out like like a thousand percent you know what i mean it's like i would hope andor season two gets better and it's like you know every three episodes of season two is one year before rogue one and that's exciting man rogue one's my second favorite star wars movie like so this, this is for awesome really quick give babu a hug for me there we go so as i ask this question i'll give babu a squeeze uh so i was gonna ask i mean does anyone honestly i'm curious if anyone has any thoughts on this why do does anyone have a reasoning or, or, or a possibility of how my second favorite star wars movie is rogue one and like i stand by that forever like i think my, my top three star wars movies are like never moving you know revenge of the sith rogue one return of the jedi so how would you know and i get a, a movie versus tv show whatever but like rogue one is my second favorite movie and like andor i just can't like I, I just can't get you know i can't vibe with it you know what i mean it's like i just i don't understand like, i was even i was wondering that myself for a year so it's like i love rogue one so much it's like you would think i would love andor you know so that's just kind of strange in my opinion because rogue one is a great movie my favorite star wars movie I mean, dude, I, I can respect it if Rogue One's num uh, you know, number one. R Rogue One is fantastic. Um, let's see. Uh, Life Bricks, how do we have the same favorite three movies? Because we got some taste there, Mr. Lazy. We got some... We got the proper Star Wars taste buds, right? I'm not saying we're right, you know, since there's just our opinions, but we got some good taste buds nonetheless. It's because of Vader and Krennic, but like, but it's like, it's not because of Vader. Like, sure, the, the middle scene of Vader in the castle was like wonderful, you know what I mean? Like he adds a, adds a big part of it, like a big like presence to the movie. But like, dude, like when I rewatched it in theaters, before Andor last year, like when they played it in theaters, you know, for like a couple days beforehand, you know, that was the first time I, I watched it or that or the second or the, the third time I watched it in theaters back in 2016, uh, once in high school in like 2018. And then the third time was, was last year. Okay. So it's like, from what I remember, okay. And I, and I loved Rogue One, but I remembered, uh, the fact of, you know, the, the middle being a little bit slower. Okay, like my one con of the movie was the middle of Rogue One being a bit slower. But when I rewatched it for that third time last year, like, I didn't even get that. Like, 100% all of Rogue One, the characters, man, the the, the actors, the, the gravitas, the uh, everything, dude, is just so damn good in Rogue One. So, so genuinely, I mean... I Rogue One is my second favorite Star Wars movie, and I just I, I just can't I can't I just don't know why I don't like Andor. He's like I love Andor himself and, and Rogue One. I really do. There's nothing wrong with them, you know. Uh, Krennic was a good villain, but Vader and Tarkin treated him like they're well. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like I mean, I, truly, I mean Krennic is a great character, man. Krennic truly is a great character. Uh, my dad rewatches Rogue One often. Heck yeah, man. Your dad's got some uh, proper taste buds, too. All right, let's see. I put these right here. Um, this. And then... Damn, man, this doesn't make any sense. What am I doing here? Bro, what? Oh, why did I grab two of those? That's a, that's the thing, man. Um, Rogue One has zero character development, bro. But but okay. The, the thing is with that, like, I think there is, okay, there is character development. I, I can see where you're coming from. Like, look, I think, like, some someone like Bodhi Rook, okay, or, or you know, Sharut Emwi, 
Bay's Malvis. Like, I, I don't, I can get where you're coming from, where it's like, look, like there's really no arc for him there, but there's character development in the characters themselves that present themselves through the movie that have, again, in my opinion, that that fits the narrative, especially in a movie where there's already a, a cohesive beginning and end that like is already like known beforehand. Okay. Where you got to kind of tie up all your points with no strands available. You know what I'm saying there? And, but I think, I think Andor and Jin themselves, you know, again, the arguably the two main casts of the whole entire rogue one movie and rogue one call sign. Um, I think there's some true character development there. And yeah, dude, you get like the death troopers. I mean, bro, you get the death troopers. Oh, dude, I will never forget, man. The death trooper hype back in the day. I mean, dude, seeing death troopers on the scene of them getting out of the Thai Reaper, dude, is bananas. Is absolutely bananas, man. Uh, Dan says as much character development as every other movie you watch, with the exception of characters you've invested in for decades. Uh, yeah, I mean that's 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 the, that's the thing there. I mean, literally the characters of Rogue One, you know, factually already have like besides like Andor, you know, sure, like they made a show on them, but like you know, other than that, like, and you could like, and I really do wonder if we're gonna see even like glimpses of like other characters in, in, in season two, you know. But f again, for a movie that like already has. A, a solidified ending that like the whole movie's based off the point of like these are those characters that did that plot point like i don't think i don't know how much like you can really expect from like development there you know because and the, honestly kind of and, and the thing is too like would it even be worth it like in the grand scheme of things it's like would it be worth going through a bunch of development like or having a whole prequel movie you know a prequel movie to the you know with the rogue one characters where it's like again when we literally know they're all done so by the end of of rogue one you know what i'm saying I, I just feel like there's really no reason to kind of go bananas with them but like they serve their purpose uh is there a new visual dictionary in 2024 yeah it's coming out uh like april 2nd i think a april 1st or april 2nd and it's got a minifigure in there too but we don't know what the fig is and the um the shadow of the figure on on the on the book does not rep, uh, represent what like the outline of the actual figure we're getting. Like it looks like it could be like a like a Leia or something right now on the the outline, but for all we know, it could be a uh, you know a Meeber Gascon. You get what I'm saying? Um, Balin was the best character in Ahsoka. I don't know about that. I mean, 100. I want to say, look, 100 percent the most interesting. Okay, you get what I'm saying? But for me. That's tough, dude. I mean, most interesting in Ahsoka. I don't know, dude. It's almost like, man, I'd just say Anakin. <laughs> I would just say Anakin. Or the or hold up, not not the most interesting, just the best character. I mean, of course, for me, Anakin. But interesting, I'd give Balin. But yeah, Anakin's my Anakin's my favorite favorite character in the Ahsoka show. Ahsoka series was horrible. Damn. Uh, Dickhead Center was my favorite character in Ahsoka. I do. I, I think that actor's doing a great job. Uh, Thrawn's the best. I don't know. Th for me personally, every like from the moment we saw Thrawn in Episode Six, every scene that he was in from when he got introduced all the way to the end of the show, I just he felt less like Thrawn every single time I saw him. I felt like I don't know. Like, when I first saw him on screen, I'm like, damn, dude, like, that's Thrawn, feels like Thrawn, sounds like Thrawn, looks like Thrawn, like, does the Thrawn, everything. But by the end of the show, I'm kind of like, dude, like, that just seems like some regular Imperial Admiral painted blue. 
you know. Uh, Christian's Venators on back order. When'd you order it? Uh, day one. Did you get that day one? Bro, what is the like? How am I missing every damn step here, dude? Like, this ain't good. This is not good. Like, what? What is going on here? Ah. Uh, Thrawn lost some IQ. Very men and I like rebels. Not gonna lie, we need a new Sith Lord. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm curious to hear your guys' opinion. Okay, you know how does anyone know how the original the original George Lucas episodes uh seven, eight, and nine would have Darth Maul and Darth Talon as the, the main like antagonist in the in the show? Or the movies. How how do you guys feel about do you think Dave Filoni is doing that? And you know, now that they're at Dathomir, they have like those coffins of whoever, they got some some Night Sister magic. You know, they're do you guys think Dave Filoni's implementing that into the, his you know his movie, possibly a Dave Filoni trilogy, where they bring back like at least like Darth Talon, Darth Maul, and like they're back for or you know should i just say a zabrak you know female male zabrak whatever uh you know for the movies like how do you guys i mean dude dude that would be incredible darth maul and darth talon on the big screen in 2026 holy bananas bro Bro, Jake, man, ever heard of Night Sister Magic? I don't, I don't think you ever heard of Night Sister Magic. Uh, before or after sequel trilogy? Uh, I mean, that's the toughest part. I mean, I, I really think... Th I mean, the, the problem with all this too, man, and honestly, where I'm starting to get a little, a little uninterested, and I'm wondering if anyone feels the same, is... You know, as much as, like, look, like, the the Mandoverse itself, like, truly, it, it's definitely got its its flaws. But, like, I think it had very good momentum there for a while. And, like, it still kind of does, you know. Pretty hype, you know, nonetheless. But I, I feel like where I'm really starting to get a little disconnect with is just knowing that this all leads to Luke sitting on an island you know the new republic you know getting destroyed in episode seven like all at once you know where's thrawn in the sequel trilogy like like you know that you know the rise of the first order snow could be in no one palpatine coming back it's like i'm serious when i say like that that is like the one thing that's kind of like making me a little disinterested now because dude it's like where are they going with this mandoverse that like doesn't make it seem like what the f happened because the sequels happen you know it's like that's why like i really thought for a second i really thought they would have um when they went into the new see and the thing is here i mean sure ah ahsoka sabine or whatever are still in the in the new galaxy but you know how, how is that gonna again thrawn is back in the in, in the main timeline or in the main galaxy what i thought they were gonna do is have the new galaxy you know work in different rotations just like have quicker quicker days quicker years or how they could have done it was Thrawn and Ahsoka, Ezra, the Rebels crew, all that type of stuff. You know, they come back post sequel trilogy. Okay. So then you have no, but I guess at that point, Luke's, but it's like, I don't even know if Luke's going to be a part of any of this. It's like, I don't know. You know, like we don't even know that. So, so that's kind of where I'm at. It's just like, it's a little, it's getting me a little disinterested knowing it all leads to episode seven. You know, does anyone else feel like that a little bit, or am I the uh, the only one?
um, somehow Maul returned. Imagine if Disney sold to Apple. Uh, L sequels, uh, Ray Battle Pack. What's even going on now in the chat? Those were like the, those were like the like the most random five comments I've ever read in a row in a live chat. I feel. Um, they should add Kanan Jarrus in Ahsoka flashback. Yeah, bro. Who was who was someone in my live chat for like months was saying that. Oh, and technically, I guess Kane. I mean, did you guys see that there was a uh, in the ghost cockpit? There was actually a picture of Freddie Prince Jr. Uh, not in costume or anything, but just you know, literally just regular, real life uh, Freddie Prince Jr. A picture of him in the ghost cockpit. You guys see that? That was pretty fun. Can you show us all your Thrawn stuff? Uh, the only Thrawn stuff I got is oh you guys are probably seeing it i have a thrawn brickhead right there i've got the thrawn minifigure right here and then i've got some phantom twos uh sealed right here that's all i got thrown wise and there's really nothing else thrown wise that i mean nothing else lego wise um i've got no black i've got no black series thrown but i've got a funko pop thrown uh upstairs in my bedroom oh yeah and the thrillers too which dude i got a promote them oh here 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 here. okay sweet all right so let me actually go on the camera and show up close right here shout out to cooper for i reminded me so i do have i don't know if you guys can hear me too well but i do have custom uh hold up let's see Is it going to be able to focus in? Oh, here we go. Sweet. Yeah, so that's a, uh, a recolor of my... Hold up. So that's a recolor of my of my sig fig. I've got like, I think six more left. I've got because Bricklink took down the listing, and I've, I've got six more left. So technically, if any of you guys want one, I, there's only 25 of them in existence. I kept two for myself, um, and then what would that mean? That would mean 17 sold on Bricklink, and I've got six left. So uh, it's just an interesting little thing I did for the Ahsoka show. Um, you know, I've got like my regular sig figs that like, you know, I give away some, I trade some, sell some, like if you guys want a regular life brick sig fig, but I did 25, uh, just for the Ahsoka show, kind of like the hype, you know, of it. And, uh, I like them. It's really cool. Like it's, it's a, it's a fun time. I think it turned out great. So it's, it's, you know, it's me blue, of course, you know, glasses, red eyes, uh, you know, my sig fig hair, but in black to match, you know, Thrawn's black hair. And it's a fun time. You know, we got the proper the proper badging on them and everything. So I've got six left for sale. I know there's like you know three or four of you guys right there asking if you guys you know can you guys buy one? Uh, either send me an email or an Instagram DM and uh, let me know. Uh, I was selling them for I don't know. I, I don't want to. The thing is, Dan Flower, man, you you bought one off Bricklink, right? You or did you buy one on a private sale? I forgot. Either way, I'm pretty sure they were what were they twenty two dollars? I was selling them for. I believe it was twenty two. I don't know because I, I don't want to like over over price. I sold them like a month ago. I don't want to sell them for you know more or less than what I sold the other ones for. But I think it was twenty two bucks, right? Who wants a Babu Frick battle pack? I would love that. I think it was like twenty one ninety five or whatever. So it's like. If you guys want to buy one, I know there's again, three or four of you guys right there. Uh, email me, send me a DM or whatever, and uh, we can we can work it out. You know, it'd be tw twenty two or whatever plus uh, plus shipping. And like I said, only twenty five in the world or twenty five ever made. But I'll, I'll probably and the thing is, I want to do more of them too. Like I want to do a, uh, I'll probably do like a Christmas related one, and then I'm thinking I want to do when the Rick Grimes uh, spinoff comes out. I want to do a. A Rick, a, a life bricks Rick Grimes, a life bricks Grimes. So that's gonna be very niche, you know. Because you know, as seen in my chat right here, 
all of you guys are haters. So, not not too many Rick Grimes fans in the chat here, but I'll make my life bricks Grimes, and uh, I say, say I make 15 of them, and there's only 15 in the world. Us 15 will be happy. Uh, oh, uh, Ostiff says, I still have that redone portrait of you of you and Bob. Let me know when you want that. I had it professionally. Bro, I take it any, like, well, yeah, whenever you, uh, I've told, I said, I think I was telling you, man, like, I, I would easily, you know, at least for a couple streams, you know what I mean? Like, maybe not like forever, forever, of course, but like, uh, I would hang it, like, I would literally just, I would tape it to like, oh, actually, depending on how big it is, but I would try to put it in the background somehow, you know, for a while at least. So let me know, man. I mean, send me a DM. I mean, I know you've sent me DMs in the past. Send me a DM, man. And uh, again, it's all up to you. I mean, again, it's up to you if you want to send it, you know, whatever. I'll pay you know, for shipping if you need money for that, like whatever. You know what I mean? But uh, I'll put it behind for sure. Dan's saying 25. Okay, so yeah, I, I, probably 25 plus shipping. Uh, what is the most expensive thing in your Brickling store and why don't you ship internationally? um technically I, I think it's i think i've got a, a regular thrawn i think i've got a regular thrawn in there for like one 155 or whatever uh you know excellent condition no cracks nothing so technically if you want to talk about well actually i've got some christmas i've got some lego store employee christmas uh exclusives in there too so uh those are actually more expensive i think the ones like i think the ones like one 190 and the other one's like 240 something like that so if you guys are looking for the 2018 or 2020 Christmas employee gift, I do have those in there. Because we, we are coming up on Christmas time, right? What are my top five favorite Star Wars figures? Um, I can say this. I don't know about top five. Well, here. I'll give you a guarantee. To, well, actually, hear me out. Hear me out. Uh, Chrome, Chrome Darth Vader, Palpatine's Arrest Anakin, Shirtless Darth Maul, Episode 2 Padme. And damn, who am I going fifth, man? Who am I going fifth? Let's see. Who else? I'm going to look behind me really quick. Who else I got? Let's see if anything rings a bell. I'll go for kind of an easy way out. I'll go, I'll go for 20. I'll go for 2013 Rex. I'll say 2013. Oh, actually, well, yeah, if you want to get technical, Cooper, yeah, I mean, Arc Trooper. The thing is, look, I think the Arc Trooper is the number one clone of all time, and that's factual. Like, I will always stand by that. Like, I think that's, like, the objective way to think. I I mean, again, if anyone can truthfully tell me a clone that's better than the Arc Trooper, that's not just, like, personal preference. You know, which that's what I'm saying. I think I like the Rex, the 2013 Rex minifigure more as a figure because it's like, it is Rex, you know, hits more to home to me. Like, I'd rather have a, a Rex in my collection than an unnamed Arc Trooper. But I think, you know, physically, the Arc Trooper is the better clone, but I'd probably prefer Rex still, you know. Shirtless Maul is incredible. Uh, double VIP starts. If I don't know if Kree's still still in the chat. But double VIP starts, I think, I want to say on Monday, right? The 9th? I think it's the 9th. 2020 Airborne's close, too. P2 Gree is decently close, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you think we'll get a turbo tank in 2024? Uh, so the, the thing is with that, I mean, whether it's turbo tank or like anything like with the Wolf, I just think, I, I strongly do think there will be a Phase 2 Commander Wolf the next summer. And when you just kind of think of it, it I'm, I'm curious, honestly, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Will there be, what, what is your number one idea? I want everyone to put in the chat. What is your number one set that you would expect to see a Commander Wolf in? Is it a Turbo Tank? Is it a Frigate? Is it an ARC-170? Is it a, you know, a Luke's Lance Speeder? Like, what do you guys think? I'm not a big battle damage Vader guy. I love the fig, but he's not even a top. I mean, he's not even a top 20. I mean, I, I would I would put back to tank Vader over over uh, battle damage. Yo, and see, that, I don't think people understand that. Like, 
that's a good point cheese on top i don't know if you're if you specifically meant the the course on gunship like in a funny manner if you meant the uh the course on police gunship because literally in the clone wars you know in the ahsoka arc like where we see the course on police gunship and you know we're public colors the you know the phase two wolf is there you know with uh shock troopers so it's like you know technically you could argue if lego is like going through the clone wars like skimming through and they're thinking and they're looking at all these little ships like oh shit, dude there's a course on gunship in the background let's make that in a set you know if they're if they're going through clone wars episodes like maybe they truly kind of see it like they're thinking like oh commander wolf we should make one soon and then they're, they're watching the ahsoka episodes like the 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 her leaving the the order episodes and they see wolf flying in on the course on police gunship and they're thinking like oh my god like let's do a wolf in a 70 dollar course on police gunship and it's like maybe uh people are saying frigate frigate plo coon starfighter i don't know it makes sense like sure like conceptually it would be a nice third fig you know, Plo Koon, Astromech, and then uh, Wolf, but I don't know. I just want Thrawn Star Destroyer as the summer set. What's going on, Seattle? Uh, th those those are gone for the foreseeable future. I mean, the thing is, in as long as they do the 2020 style, we're not getting animated clones anymore. You know, because think about it. I mean. In, in, in Lego's aspect now, in their point of view, the the 2022 clone command station clones are Clone Wars clones of them. There's just no, they're, they're not doing the differences anymore. And and believe me, it sucks. It absolutely sucks. Like, I mean, I, I that's why I'm only buying animated clones. Like, I love them. It's I, I, truly, I mean, it's just like, it hits all the nostalgia keys. I, I think they're accurate as heck. Lego doesn't do them anymore. Probably never will. So, so literally, I mean, I'm just buying up as many Clone Wars clones as I can. So the thing is, I mean, when you see, I don't know when a clone army is ever going to come out, but believe me, I, I think I'm actually accumulating a decent little, little thing of them because I've, I've, I've made in the past like year. Okay. Not including what I had beforehand. Let me think. I mean, there's been one, two, three, four. I mean, there's been five purchases of 50 of them or more at once so that's 250 okay a lot of purchases of like 10 12 15 at a time so if we're and most of them are all the plain white ones i'm not going like you know and i'll buy any of them porn company arf uh you know any of them you get what i'm saying i'm not i'm trying to stay away from the bomb squads a bit you know unless they're they're cheap enough but I think honestly for like Clone Wars animated clones all together, you know, with every version, I mean, I'm, I'm over 500 guaranteed. I mean, I, I might be 600 ish. So I'm pretty excited. I mean, it's literally, I would much rather have those much rather have those than like, again, dude, I, I will forever have so much love. Let me actually pull it out. I mean, look, I mean, look, every, probably most of you guys will actually Nolan Cross is heading out. Have a good night, man. Thank you for uh, being here for a while. And I agree, dude. Horn Company clones are also a very underrated clone. Those things were accurate for 2011. So you guys know, I mean, look, this set right here will probably forever be the set that like holds the most like sentimental value to me. You know, just what it did for me last year and my opportunity with it and everything, you know, most sentimental set of all time, but I'm not blind to see that, like, again, these clones, man, it's like, factually, it's like, look, these clones themselves, why why do people need a bajillion of them? You know, they're specialist clones, you know? And, like, again, objectively, or, or you know, objectively, they have helmet holes, not objectively that they're bad, but there, there are some things with it I'm just not a fan of. So it's like, I would much rather have Clone Wars clones than these clones. Like, these clones literally do nothing for me absolutely nothing man i would rather have one clone wars clone or actually look i can i can get two clone wars clones pretty much for the price of this at 16. these clones just don't do nothing for me man and i love this set this set's sentimental as heck but clone wars clones it is
Uh, Box of Boys, heck yeah. Shout out, yeah, Box of Boys. Uh, that era was game changer for the channel for sure. Yeah, I mean, no, it, I mean, it was incredible. Dude. I mean, seven, five, three, four, five. But again, I mean, actually, I'll, I'll even go get it for, real quick. I mean, this is it. I mean, anyone that knows, they know. I mean, this this is it. You know, this taped up box, you know, reclosed, had a little tape right there. This is the uh, the set. Yeah, I made sure to bag it separately, keep the box, and um, yeah. Again, sentimental value. Maybe there's a couple things more than it, like Chrome Vader, maybe. Like, maybe Chrome Vader, you know, maybe truly sentimentally is more. But, like, this is the set. So. It's damn incredible, man. Uh, what is your best-selling item, and why don't you ship internationally? Uh, I don't ship internationally for a, for a magnitude of reasons. I mean, it's just a little bit more, you know, hassle than it's worth personally for me right now. But um, I would say my best-selling item is, I mean, all the stuff to fix the uh, September 1st figures. I mean, you guys went crazy on picking up, like, the orange, the orange lightsaber blades. You know, the curved hilts, the black visors for Fox, the, the cloth waist capes. Like, I mean, you guys went bananas. And I appreciate that. I mean, it, it literally, I mean, it, it worked out. You know, I, I stocked all it up. You know, of course, I mean, I sourced it all. And I got everything you guys all needed at once, you know. And um, a lot of you guys, you know, placed those orders with uh, literally everything you needed to fix the figs. And I'm like, wow. Like, it really felt good that, like, yeah, you know, sure. Am I gonna lie and say I didn't make money off of it? No, I'm not gonna lie and say. But like, it's the fact of the matter. I mean, me knowing that it's like, dude. I mean, some of the stuff like it just is pretty hard to get. Yeah, you know, I, I got it all together, and you guys went nuts on it. So it's like that. That was definitely. I mean, if you want to say about like best selling, I mean, that's been going crazy for the past month. Uh, do you got do you have any predictions for the next separatist that's coming out besides the new battle pack um at this point nothing I mean if you want to get technical I mean the next droid set will be that polybag aat but other than that nothing else for next year I mean uh, the buildable droidica but um, I've heard nothing not even any like whispers or nothing about um the other droid stuff in the summer or you know some of those un unnamed uh or you know the unknown set numbers like I've heard nothing so far for uh for droids uh collector i have not i i, I should i honestly I, I've, I've strongly debated it i just should you know what i mean i just put them on as i go instead of putting uh, honestly what i can do and it makes perfect sense a lot of people are probably gonna be doing it I, I, I might get the brick tactical pack and again put those on as i build it and then just keep the actual sticker sheet like intact and like unused and just when it pops up on Bricklink, I'll just st sell the sticker sheet for whatever it goes for. So if you know someone needs the uh, the, the the real sticker sheet for some reason, you know I'll just I'll sell it. You know. And uh, shout out to uh, Seattle said he got a new job somewhere up here. Yeah, he said I just got a new job today. Shout out to uh, Seattle. Everyone, give a quick shout out to uh, Seattle in the chat. And this music this music is pissing me off. Let's change it up. There we go. Yeah, also, can we get a like update? 
I got I gotta make sure I'm not building more pieces than uh you guys are liking, right? Let's get a quick like update. Feeding the ducks. Uh, this is not this is daydreaming, but I know dude. I mean, again, when I'm off a of stream yard, my top priority is when I move over to OBS is like get some damn different music man that i can actually enjoy the thing is dude i've got a bunch of copyright free music um that i use from uh, a channel an artist called d9 uh, on youtube um i've been using this stuff for years i mean if, if you guys ever wondered where the, uh, the outro music came from in my in my videos you know i've got like eight eight or ten different tracks i use i kind of mix them up uh those all come from like i said a, a youtube channel called d9 he makes like beats all the time, all free to use. Just, you know, give him credit, uh, you know. So I've been doing using his stuff for years, man. Damn, Austin. I, I, I'm genuinely curious, Austin. Did you, there's no way you just found that out in the past like 20 minutes, right? You, I, I mean, have you known for a while or like, have you actually just found out within the meantime of the stream? But either way, that's that's bananas, man. Heck yeah, man. Congratulations. My opinion on Starkiller. Uh, the thing is, I mean, I truly I'm not blind to see that like on a power scale, you know, power scaling level, he like as he is from the games can factually not be in canon. But I do want to see a version of him. You know, I, I would love to see a a Vader Padawan. You know, and it would have been nice to see, you know, Vader's Padawan go up against and against Padawan. I think that would have been a nice dynamic, you know. <laughs> that's fine. Derek, that's funny. Yeah, pasta water. That's what the one is. Yeah, I've got a, uh, yeah, he, he did a BO2 uh remix and I, and I put that on some of the videos i'm a huge fan of that like i said he's got some good stuff man just, just look up d9 and look up d9 on youtube and if you guys want some beats and stuff for your own stuff i mean hit him up uh Ostif says uh we've known for the last few days we did get hitched but we've been together since 2016 heck yeah man so seven years man well first off i mean i'll commend you on the thing there that I'm the most like proud of is congratulations on seven years. You know I mean? I feel like that's something that just does, doesn't go noticed as much these days. Um, and believe me, like I've learned to like, I've seen it a lot, you know, and it's like, dude, I mean, I just commend you guys on the seven years together type thing. You know what I'm like? Well, I, I commend you on everything, you know, the, you know, marriage, child, everything. But like, honestly i'm to the point where it's like just being able to be together for seven years and staying with each other i'm like you know that's that takes a lot of uh you know i just respect at that point both of you guys you know not every couple gets to say that Yeah, I 100% think uh, Sam Whitworth could could play J uh, Jackson. Uh, when do you think the soonest we get a new Count Dooku fig is? Um, damn, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I would say it's, it's tough because like, well, I mean, 25 years of attack of the clones is 2027. So 2027, that's what I'm going to say. 2027, new count Dooku. Because, like, if they're putting a uh, an emphasis on 25 years of Phantom Menace next year, you would assume they do the same for Attack of the Clones. Did we ever get a like update? Did I ask that recently, or, or did anyone put that in the chat? I don't think I saw it. How many how many likes are we at currently? Can can anyone relay that information?
<laughs> awesome still his chat says eight. Let's grab 130 real quick. Let's grab 130. Let's grab let's grab 130. I don't know if they'll be doing that scene, Jaden. 14 years without a Dooku. I mean, look, I mean, we've already been. It's already been. No, the last Dooku was 23rd. No, I guess it's 27 would be 14. Yeah. Hey, it's already been 10 years, though. What's 14? You know? Here, here's a question for you guys. Here's, here's a question for you guys. What do you guys think of the... The, um, what do you guys think the, cl okay, in the, in the Grogu escape set, in the Grogu escape set, what do you think the figure lineup will be? This is something that some people were bringing up some pretty good ideas in my video today. Uh, what do you guys think the figure lineup will be? Um, Austin, so the thing is, I was a dog guy, like, forever. Like, I was, was never around cats. And, and, and genuinely, like, like factually, like, I started being around cats. Um, like, I was around, you know, at, at one point, four cats at once, five cats. Like, you know, three, four, five cats, like, pretty much every day for, like, a little over two years there for a stretch. And, like, I really grew a liking to cats. Like... So I, I, the thing is, I mean, I would truthfully say at this point, I'm probably a cat guy, you know, all said and done. I think it, like the thing is like, sure, like 10 years from now, you know, family started, you know, house, everything like that, you know, kids going like everything like, you know, probably a dog. You know what I mean? I think I would introduce a dog then, but for something where it's like, you know, say I move out next year or whatever, you know, on my own for a couple of years before anything, it's like. 100% a cat over a dog at that point, you know? But I would say, I would probably say cat guy. And, and I would have never been a cat guy if it weren't for being around cats for, uh, you know, multiple years there. You know, that were all, you know, a very, a very joyous time. I'll say that. Very fun time. Uh, cat actually, so okay, let's read some of these really quick. Uh, Grogu, uh, Kellerin Beck 501st, uh, Shock Troopers, Grogu, Kellerin Beck, uh, Kellerin, Grogu 1501st, two playing clones, a Shock Boy. So, you really think they would literally just like do the battle pack figs again in there and have no variety? Uh, Seattle, uh, Kellerin, Grogu, and a couple 501st. What's up, Wolfpack? Yeah, bro, there were some people in that comment section saying the new. Uh, Nabu guard. What do you guys think? Put. I want everyone to put a percentage chance. Okay, zero through a hundred. Everyone put it in the in the chat. Zero being you know no zero percent. A hundred percent being a hundred percent. What are the chances we get a new Nabu royal guard minifigure in the Grogu escape set? A zero through a hundred. Put a percent in the chat. Let's see. All right. Shreddy says two. Jackson says zero. Cooper says 30. Uh, Evan says 12. Wolfpack says 50. Secret Squirrel says 3. Uh, Kevin Beak says 20. Seattle already in production. I'm just getting at the fact for a variety. I feel like that's literally just like rinse and repeating the set almost at that point, you know, clone wise. Uh, 0, 67, 10. Uh, we have another 0. We have a 0, a 0, 0. We have three zeros in a row, 5. Uh, no way, 65, 50, 40. Okay, so, I mean, uh, mo all of you guys are pretty much under 50%. Okay. I mean, actually, bro, hold up. You know what I just thought of? You know what I just thought of, right? I mean, there's no confirmation, or am I mistaken? Am I mistaken? Is there confirmation or not? Is it guaranteed to be the bark speeder with sidecar? 
or could it be a hallway scene? Am I mistaken? Is it confirmed with Barks Peter? Or could it be a uh, a hallway scene? Or like the elevator? Or like just like a little like diorama, like a little like Jedi Temple, little like outdoor patio thing that they walked out on from the elevator. And it's like just like a little gray platform with three clones and two and Kaloran and Grogu. I mean, have we ever thought about that? Yeah, so what if it's not even a bark speeder with sidecar? Or, I mean, better yet, hold up now. Bro, 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 hold up, hold up now. We haven't even thought about this. Sure, it's only $30, but hold up now. What if, what if it's literally, what if the escape, okay, because it's literally Grogu's escape. What if it's just like a miniature version of the Naboo, uh, you know, Starfighter there with Grogu and a Naboo security guard? Like, what if it's just that? Like, not even a Keller and Beck, not even a clone trooper. If, it, if it's literally just a smaller version of the ship and Grogu, because that's technically him escaping, like that is, that's factually him escaping. You know, if he's on that ship, with the pilot and they're out of there. That's escaping. Hmm, 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 hmm. What do we think? I the thing the thing is, Dan, I, I don't I know for a fact no one confirmed Kellerin. It's just the fact of I, I I'm blanking if someone confirmed it was the sidecar. Or you know, the bark spear. A doorway and a platform. I mean, see, that's the thing, man. I mean, like, or even even better, it's like, what if it's like literally just a, yeah, like like like, like the hallway scene because you have it where you know Grogu was in the pram, okay, Grogu was in the pram at the end of the hallway, okay, so you have a little hallway build, Grogu in the pram back here, and then you have you know two or three five oh first charging in. And then maybe at that point, maybe you include like that random female Jedi, you know, that did like the initial like, hey, come here, you know, that type of stuff. Like, what what if it's that? I'm starting to do it. I don't know. It, I don't. Is that is it not a bark speeder? Uh, Stu, I'm on step sixty three, and uh, page fifty two, or technically page uh, page fifty three. Uh, nah, they need a Kellerin. Uh, they're gonna throw us a curveball. If they do a set without Kellerin, it's a sin. Bro, I'm, I, I'm starting to really, I'm starting to really overthink it now. And it, it might not even be a, a, uh, a whatever you want to call it, a, a Mark Speeder, man. What if it's not? They could do so much with the set. Yeah, yeah. Currently rebuilding my UCS ISD. Damn. Are you having a fun time, Seattle? Uh, with the rebuild? Uh, Pasta Water's vendor just got here today. Are you cracking it open right now? Are you already building it, Pasta Water? Are you uh, already building it? At this point, maybe Jar Jar's in the set? Uh, Mega Requesa says uh, there's a chance it could be a bark speeder along with the side build, like the elevator on the front but it feels unlikely yeah the thing yeah I, I don't know i don't know if they would pair that you know it seems a little weird because I, although maybe not I, I mean maybe a little something like where they have like a 501st clone be able to kind of come out the uh come out the doorway maybe uh shout out to 1010 uh harrison here watching from wales uh seeing you live for the first time been watching your vids for years awesome thank you so much man i appreciate what i appreciate you watching for years and uh thank you for stopping by here i'll say it hopefully don't forget to smash the like button i'll say that don't forget to hit the like button while you're here uh pasta says tomorrow morning i'll bust it open do you plan on building it pretty quickly like by the end of the weekend or are you gonna take your time with it what's your game plan with it uh pasta
Five Hundred First Trooper with the 2015 Marvel Super Jumper. <laughs> that would be pretty funny if they would have included those in the with the Jet Troopers in the in the Five Hundred First pack. That would have been pretty funny. No, I agree. That would have been pretty cool. That would have made perfect sense. They did just release a giant Jar Jar head. Why are they doing another bark speeder if the battle pack will have a two seater speeder? I'm no okay. So so Cooper two two seater speeder is in reference to I'm pretty sure like the 2007 battle pack, whereas a, a, a clone facing one way and a clone facing the other way. I, I'm pretty sure I could be mistaken, but I I don't think the battle pack will have a sidecar. I just don't see it. I'm pretty sure two two way speeder. Or two-seater speeder means just front and back. Uh, Pasta says, probably going to have it done by Sunday. I'm going to throw on some Clone Wars while I build. What what Clone Wars episodes? Honestly, here. I, I did this on my Instagram, and I got some unique reactions. I want to see it here. I want to see what is your guys' is. Okay, yeah, just, okay, look. I'll say, I'll say this. Look, the only exception, you can't put Siege of Mandalore. All right? Only exception. What is your favorite arc other than Siege of Mandalore? I still need to get my Venator. See, when do you plan on getting to Seattle? All right, we got a pretty big step here. I need to get one of these. One of these. Oh, we're looking for three of these and two of these. I said, don't say Siege of Mandalore. <laughs> uh, Citadel, uh, Umbara, Mortis. Okay, that's a great, great option. Uh, Umbara, Umbara, Umbara. Uh, Mieber Arc, there we go. The most proper answer. Umbara, Umbara, Umbara. Citadel. Mieber does go hard. Fives arc on Camino. Uh, Obi Wan is ready. To go. Dude, no, Alonzo, man, dude. Oh my God, bro. All right, Alonzo, this is a, a specific question just for you. Which is your favorite episode out of the four there? Okay, because if you say the episode I want you to say, you're a legend, man. Because the most underrated episode of the series, man. And hopefully you say it. So Lon Alonzo, put in put in the chat. Your favorite episode just from that arc in specific. Uh, Domino Squad, Mortis Gods, Fives Arc. Definitely putting on... Yeah, so the thing is, I gotta be frank with you, dude. I usually watch podcasts when I build... I told you guys, I mean, I'll do the same probably, Pasta. Tomorrow, um, I need to grind out like 5, 10, 15 bags like over the weekend like by myself. Like, And I'll stream again Monday and do a bag. But just to get some progress rolling, um, I the thing is like I like to listen to podcast more so because like when I'm watching Clone Wars, like I feel like I just can't. I'm not a big fan of like turning TV and movie on in the backgrounds because even if I've seen it before, it's still like the fact of like I want to watch it. So like I'd rather listen to like a podcast, like where it's like I'm not like required to watch the screen. Like I'm, I've never been a big fan of like. Especially, on, again, I've told you, like, especially on a set like this, like, I want to dial in for the most part and, like, make sure it's right. Last thing I want to do is F this up or have to, like, go back and, like, fix something. So I'm personally a little bit more of a, uh, I'll probably listen to a podcast. Damn, Lonzo. I was not expecting, you, pick, you picked the, my least favorite of the four. Lon Lonzo, you started all the way up here. You said the Reiko Hardin arc. You're up here. All right. You could have picked the box. Okay. Which I was looking for the box. All right. And then I would have said deception would have been my second favorite. And then the finale, which I don't, I forgot what the fourth episode's called. Okay. But no, you, you, you picked the second one, which I think is my least favorite of the four. Yeah. Yeah. The box, the box is nuts, man. The box is crazy. box was bananas man 
but but uh, literally i mean the deception though is great too i mean the entire prison scene i think it's a it's a smidge slow at the start or like kind of like in the middle like after after kenobi gets shot at the start it's a little slow kind of getting into it but like once you know reiko's in the prison you know boba comes uh, dude boba young boba comes up to kenobi to go f him up you know thinking he's reiko of course but like uh, dude and then bosk comes in and you know the clump the shock say uh you know the shock say uh, all right all right you know fights over and bosk comes in and says uh no it ain't and smashes their head throws reiko across the table you know, the alarms go off, dude. You have the one. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I don't know what species it is, but the one with the like the the hair on the sides, man. The one like a, that one alien prisoner guy. He he takes that clone's blaster. And bro, he hits them with uh literally, man. He he takes the blaster, he shoots two clones on the ground. Okay, then there's two clones on the on the railing above. He goes four shots, dude. Boom, 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 boom. Like aimbot, bro. And it's like, dude, and then it's like, so just that entire sequence is bananas, man. Absolutely bananas. Crazy. I mean, dude, that entire arc, like, that's the thing. Like, like, look, I, I love the clones in the Clone Wars. I do, but I will forever stand by. I think some of the most, like, just genuinely interesting arcs in the Clone Wars are non-clone arcs. Like, I, I, I've, I've said this forever. I mean the 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 season five Maul uh, Mandalorian arc, dude, bananas. All right, and then we have um, you know the the box arc, you know the the, the Reiko Hardin arc, bananas, dude. We have you know, just a lot of stuff like that. Like another like, does anyone remember? Okay, does anyone remember the episode? I don't know what it's called, but it's when Ventress uh, turns into a bounty hunter. And they're in that one planet where they're on that train. Okay. They're like, they're on that like train that's like under the ground. They're transporting that one prisoner. The natives, you know, keep on trying to do attack. Like, dude, that episode's crazy. And there's not, there's no clones in there. There's no clones in there, but it's just like such a good episode. Uh, what's up, Rex fan? I've been good, man. How about you? Who's my favorite arc trooper? I will say this, and, and this is another point too. Um, and, and look, my my takes on season seven, you know, you guys kind of know them, and you know the the Martez sister arc, kind of a waste, whatever. Uh, but another reason that kind of sucks about season seven is the Bad Batch arc. Okay, it's great to of course see it in full animated style, but it, it sucked knowing that the Bad Batch were going to be part of that because people that have been around for like ten years. You know, we saw the whole entire Bad Batch arc, like 95% of it. Like, they added a little bit. But the Bad Batch arc, all four episodes, were in animatic form 10 years ago. So, it, it, it sucked knowing the outcome and the whole story of it. You know, Echo's alive, so-and-so, they get him from Wat Tambor. So, that kind of took down the whole arc, too. But one of my favorite scenes in the entire Bad Batch arc of Season 7 is the first episode, the end of the first episode. They find out Echo's alive. And it's all of them in, like, in that little base. And then they, they run out the door, like with that music in the background. Dude, that's crazy. Like that, I love that scene because, and I think, hot take here, hot take. Hot, I, I'm curious what you guys think. It, are the Bad Batch characters better in Clone Wars Season 7 or the Bad Batch show? What do you guys think? Before I give you my opinion, what do you guys think? Are they are do you like them more in the Clone Wars or Bad Batch? Yeah, no, no, like the music in the band. But what I was where I was getting at with that, um, Arc Trooper Jesse. Okay, I, I didn't fully appreciate it back in, in 2020, but Arc Trooper Jesse, man, his armor and outfit is bananas, dude. Like, actually, I'm going to look really quick while you guys comment. I think I've got an Arch Trooper Jesse over here. I'm going to look really quick.
No, nah, never mind. I got no clue where I put him at. I got no effing clue. Uh, I just see T-Mog's in here. What's up, T-Mog? How you doing, man? Uh, so, honestly, that was like a split, man. I mean, you guys are saying Clone Wars and Bad Batch back-to-back, -back, like... Yeah, okay, so so look, I mean, I'll say it here, okay? What is... Well, see, I like I like Bad Batch more in Clone Wars Season 7. I'll put it that That's my answer, but... Um, out of all of the, the Clone Wars arcs that never got made, which one do you guys wish got made? You know, there's like six or seven or eight of them that, like, you know, either turn into a book or a comic... Or like fully can what which arc do you guys wish you guys saw in season seven? Fully animated. And there's only one right answer. There's only one right answer I want to hear out of any of you. Um, I'm not sure, Darth Austin. I mean, does uh, Grandpa Clone Customs make one? Yeah, yeah. There's only there's only one right answer, and someone said it. Son of friggin' Dathomir, man. Son of Dathomir, bro. Oh my gosh. Dude. I, I, I like, believe me, I, I've read the comic. Like I, I read the audiobook of it. Like I've seen like it, and it's dude. It hits different even in comic form. And honestly, me talking about this right now, I might listen to it and watch it after the stream tonight. But damn, dude. I mean, I don't think you guys understand four episodes of that animated fully dude oh oh my gosh and it's like you know i would i mean imagine they did that you know turn it into like an hour and 40 minute animated movie and put it in the theaters <laughs> dude charge 300 bucks a ticket i'm there 500 bucks i'm there i that would be the if you want to go movie level wise, if you classify that as a movie, that would have been the second the second best movie behind Revenge of the Sith. Son of Dathomir movie, exactly how the comics are, just fully animated. Too good. And the thing is, like, in one hand, look, I understand kind of why they didn't put it in season seven. They have the comic out there, the comics canon. If you want to read it, you read it. But, but literally, what, and, and this is the biggest thing, man. And part of the reason why it's like, why didn't they just do it? Like, first off, I'll never understand if they're going to do season seven. Why, why only make it 12 episodes? Why not do 22? Why not do 22? Like how Clone Wars originally was. And if they would have done 22, that's three more arcs. That is three more arcs they could have done. And something like the, the son of Dathomir, because all right, look, at the end of the day, man, Siege of Mandalore and Maul and Ahsoka are the highlights of Season 7. That's fundamentally what Season 7's there for. And you kind of get, of course, you know, with the Martez sister twin, or with the Martez twins, you get Ahsoka's kind of backstory and the fact of, like, what she was kind of up to. You know, how did she fully get intertwined with the whole Mandalore stuff? You get that. You know, what's she up to? But literally, if you just watched the show, if you just watched... We'll see in look, Cooper, like, look, the thing is, I would have shaved Martez twins down to two episodes or at least put a little bit more substance in there. But but I get why they're in there for the fact of showing where Ahsoka has been. That's fine. But if you're going to do that, OK, and show how Ahsoka got to Mandalore and back to where, you know, in, in episode nine or whatever, how are they not going to show how Darth Maul went from being electrocuted by Palpatine? All right. And and presumably and, and taken off of Mandalore and out of power, how are they gonna have that the last thing you see of Maul in the Clone Wars? And then have them just come right back into power. Again, if you don't read the comic, you know, if you if you've never read the comic, 
you go from electrocuting Maul to Maul being right back to in power. And I just don't get it. I just don't get it. How they don't put Siege of Mandalore in season seven. Or not Siege of Mandalore. How they don't put Son of Dathmere in season seven. Yeah, Ma yeah, Son of Dathmere. Yep, yep, yep. So that's my take on that. You know, how do we get how do we get where Ahsoka or you know how Ahsoka got there, but we don't get how Maul got there? You know, yeah, I mean, sure, sure. I mean, he says in the second episode or ever, like to the Maldalorians or like Rook Cast or whatever, like he said, like, you know, oh, when you guys uh uh you know whatever, you know, when you guys what did he say, man? You guys freed me from my captivity or my whatever he said. You guys freed me from my captivity by Sidious, right? Like he said that. And it's like, sure. You know what I mean? You kind of, you kind of get it. You know what I mean? It's like, you kind of understand like a little throwaway sentence, but they should have done the whole arc. Have you played Bounty Hunter on PS2? I have not. I've never owned a PS2. Uh, Wolfpack, bro, rate Padme 1 to 10. I mean, 10, of course. How, how would she not be a 10? In, in what world is Padme not a 10? Uh, what are your thoughts on Sith Troopers and army building them? And will we ever see them again? Uh, I would assume we're going to see them again in minifigure form at some point. I mean, sure, they might be updated. But I would definitely assume we're going to get more of them. Uh, what do I think about them? I just, again, I don't care to army build them. There's, there's really no point. Uh, you don't ever see them in any, any battles that make any sense. I mean, they're literally created in one movie and done in one movie. So it's like, you know, it's not like a, uh, a clone legion where, like, you can kind of you know, kind of think about, oh, you know, maybe they could have been on this planet during this time, but like the Sith Troopers, like literally are just in one, in one movie, in one battle that like you pretty much can't even recreate in Lego form. You know, that, you know, space, space battles are pretty hard to make. Um, Evan, I, th I think why Franklin will probably be the exact same size. I, I wouldn't doubt it's the exact same size, just to recolor to dark blue, you know, like true, true separatist colors, you know, I wouldn't doubt that at all. This goes right there and there. There it goes. Um, Austin says, I got to head up to bed and have, have to open tomorrow morning. So I got to crash a tad. Um, thanks for doing this tonight. When will the next one be? So I mark it on my calendar. Uh, next one, it, it's tough. It's either going to be Monday or Wednesday. I mean, per, in a perfect world, I do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday next week. Like I wanted to this week. But it's the truth of the matter. The last time you'll see me build this for sure is next Friday. But I should be streaming Monday and Wednesday. It, it's, it's yeah, we'll see where it's at. So, so either Monday or Wednesday this time. 
But either way, man, thank you for uh, stopping by. Uh, thanks for the super chat or two earlier. Thanks for the support as always, man. Um, you know, chatting it up. Always good to see you here. Uh, congratulations on the whole family. Uh, you got everything rolling for you right now, man. Happy for you. And uh, uh, that is me myself for a second. I wish the best of, you know, continuing to go great for you, bro. Uh, Yonks a million for the buck 99 holler right here. How hyped are you for the 2024 Star Wars sets? Uh, the thing is, look, I was kind of saying this earlier. Um, a month and a half ago, like two months ago, I was not too excited. You know, the sets were decent. Everything we were hearing was all right. You know, it looked like a, a fine half, you know, first half of 2024. But then it's literally like in the past couple of days now, I just, from some of the stuff you're seeing, you're hearing, you know, et cetera, this, this, and that, the more you think about it, you know, so-and-so said this, they said that, you know, that type of stuff. I'm serious when I say, man, like for the entirety of 2024, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at this. Okay. I'll leave it at this. And this is the biggest hint I can kind of say tonight for now. Okay. When I thought a month ago, they weren't going to do anything for anniversaries. You know, I was pretty adamant. Like, I don't think they're going to do 25 anniversary stuff you know, for Phantom Menace or or Lego themselves, you know, Lego Star Wars. I 100% retract that. And next year, it seems like they're going bananas in that regard. Okay. I'll leave it at that. I will leave it at that. And honestly, and honestly, here, 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 here. We're two hours in. It's 11 p.m. 85 of you here. When, when I say they're going bananas next year, I just want you guys to look at what I have in my hand an extra second. Okay. And just think for a second. All right. Me going bananas, what I got in my hand. You know, Yonks a million deserves a Babu Frick talk anyway. But just, yeah. Okay. Just, uh, I'll leave it at that. You guys can think about it, you know. Good. Remember, go black. Black, black. But I appreciate the buck 99, man. Thank you, uh, Yonks a million. And honestly, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. How hyped are you guys? How hyped are you guys? Heck yeah, man. So, so the thing is, I mean, I mean, look, that, that's, I, I will tell you this for a truth, for the truth of it. The reason why I made my video today, okay, is because I've got a strong feeling more stuff will be coming out here shortly. So I wanted to do a full recap as to what we have right now. And honestly, well, the thing is, I mean, me, me thinking that more stuff will be coming out here in a week or two, I don't know exactly kind of what, I don't know what area they're going to grab from, but I think more stuff's going to go public. So like I just wanted to do a recap now because like there seems to probably be another spike of stuff that's going to be happening, you know, which there's going to be more to talk about, you know, more stuff to update on top of what we're talking about now. So like I wanted like a full update now where it's like, you know, then when the new stuff starts coming out, you know, the new information and stuff, it's easier to kind of pile that on this than rather do all at once. So if it tells you anything, but again, I, I got no idea when some of the stuff's going to go public, if it's even, you know, hundred percent true, but um, I mean, literally, you guys saw me a month ago, two months ago. I mean, I was pretty just like kind of whatever on it, but there's been a couple, a couple, you know, it all started like, I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell you this much too. When I, when I made that video, okay, I'm gonna keep this very broad, very broad. But when I, when I made that video talking about, is there going to be anniversary stuff next year? And like, again, I was under the assumption they're not going to do anything. You know, they were going to just do the visual dictionary and that's it. Like, I got a message from someone. I'm just going to leave it at this. I got a message from a person. It was either same day or like next morning. All right. That that's when like my my thought process immediately changed. But like, sure, it wasn't anything I could talk about. where like, I'm not going to do a whole nother video type thing. But then it's like based off a couple other things I've heard in the past couple of days. It, it, it correlates to what that initial person said. So let me just tell you, I'm excited. 
I truly am. Uh, I, I, I truly, truly am. I think Lego is going to be cooking in 2024 for uh, Star Wars. And you guys know, I mean, sure. I mean, it's all about, look, I could be over expectation or I could be o over hyping myself, you know, ha having, having too high of expectations. Like it is what it is. That could always happen. And I walk out of 2024 thinking like, oh, what do they do? You know, I, I, that, that of course could be the case, but like, just again, like preemptively, like I, I'm pretty hyped. But it is, it is also just the cold hard truth, though, that January is going to be a bummy wave, man. What do you guys all think about the January wave? Literally just being a clone battle pack and a a four plus set. What do you guys think? Is it, is it the best January wave ever? How many ghost energy drinks do you ha have on average in a week? Uh, probably four, I'd say. Probably four days out of the week, I'm I'm drinking one. I I never have more than one at once, and even when I do drink them, you know, they I sip on them for like two three hours at a time. Yeah, it's not like I'm downing them within like two seconds. The droids carry four plus being fifty is a new low. Battle pack is awesome. I could care less about everything else. Okay, sweet. It looks like we're finally getting a little bit of, uh, here we go. A little bit of uh, Technic structure going on. Bro, I hate Technic fans, man. Here we go. Can, can you guys tell, can you guys tell that it's a Venator yet? Can you guys tell it's a, uh, is the droid battle pack factor cap? What do you mean by that? The droids in the clone battle pack? That's all real. Looking like a Venator. So we're actually kind of moving on these bags. I'm surprised. We're actually kind of moving. Get that going right there. And then also looks like right here. That's a nice plane. Uh, what is the Star Wars that you wouldn't want to see made and not including remakes? Um... I don't know. N never give me, never give me a set of Sabine force pushing Ezra a thousand feet across a thing. Never give me that. Never give me that. What do you feel about Jaden being used as a female name? When has Jaden not been like a female name? I could have swore I've even known some Jadens in my life that were female. Uh, do you think you'll get the January 1st that's early? Uh, I don't know. Again, it all comes down to... Uh, the thing is, like, I've got confidence, okay? But it also... I mean, the battle pack, I'll probably get early either way. But think about it. Like, is this the truth of it? Like, there's no competition to it. It's just fundamentally who has the money and makes more sense for a business return. But, like, you know, I could have got the Chewbacca early in September. Like, this is a prime example. You know, I could have got the Chewbacca early... And stuff like that but it's like it's you know 400 bucks to get it early in some aspects it's like you know some again some people are charging double triple and like it you know they deserve it type of thing and it's like people have the money for it but like from a business standpoint dude me paying 400 bucks for a chewbacca it's just ain't worth it you know and like so that's the type of stuff like on a battle pack though you know i was very fortunate when i got the stuff early last time you know it was retail plus shipping but um like, but a battle pack like this, I mean, I'll, I'll pay extra, obviously. Like, that'll be worth it. But like a Chewbacca for 400 bucks, like, hell no. Uh, you think it's worth to buy the vendor to keep sealed? 
Uh, I, Lucas, at this point, dude, I mean, no one knows. I mean, it's just like I would wait three, four years until it retires and then see what the Venator does by then. You know, how many times was it, was it on sale? You know, how long uh, was it on shelves for? You know, then it's a little bit easier to kind of like, but like I, either way, like I would just say fundamentally, like there's no point of buying a Venator to like strictly hold on to, like at least for another year or two until we start seeing more of like what's going on, you know? <laughs> yeah, shreddy, man. Put put Ezra on a super jumper. Uh, Evan, if you mean this year is in 2024, I think we'll see a Qui-Gon next year. I do. Bro, how am I missing steps? Uh, I told you, wow. See, now this is why I get scared, man. I missed an entire step here. Mm, oh, only one of them. Um, uh, where's my lime green? Here we go. All right, so we're going one of these. Damn. Uh, Aaron's gonna see if he can finish the box three of the UCS ATAT in the next two hours. How many boxes are in the US, uh, UCS ATAT? I think there's what? There's two of them in this set. So is there three or four in the UCS ATAT? All right, so this is going in here, right next to the blue. So that is right. Now we gotta go. Oh, damn, man. Why do I... Uh, anniversary. Next year is 25 anniversary, 25 year anniversary of uh, Lego Star Wars itself, too. So you guys got to keep that in mind for... Uh, and, you know, keep it in mind for what they could do next year, like what they would try to represent. You know what I mean? All right. So now I got the white piece on there. It's got to go next to the blue go through and then we got another white piece then we got a lime green boy and okay there we go now we got this step we got a couple black tiles Then we have a two by 16 plate. Oh, dude, this is already irking my, o my OCD, man. We have literally like we're building this and it's not symmetrical. They, there's you have a two by 16 plate in the middle and they're making you leave two studs gap over here and three stud gap over here. Oh, that's pissing me off, man. Like it is like even though it's, it even shows that in the instructions, it just makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Not have like why would this not be symmetrical? Why is there three studs here and two studs here? Why would they do that? Uh, Trevor says Venator just came Wednesday. Can't wait to start it. When when are you gonna start it, uh, Trevor? Uh, Aaron says I got eight bags, eight to thirteen to go through. And then there's about 10 bags. There's only 10 bags on the UC. Oh, 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 in the uh in the box, you mean, right? Within the within the box. Uh, what's your next non-ghost not non when's your next non-collab ghost flavor besides sour? Um, so I have not tried the sour strip still yet, if that's what you mean, Shreddy. And dude, to all the 27 ghost employees in the chat earlier, like the first off, like, did it even I kind of swore the first person was legit, right? If you guys are, if you're still in here, I'm just wondering, is it legit? I mean, I would, dude, I would love to get ghost sent, man. I mean, I drink it all the time, let alone always in streams. I mean, the thing is too, at that point, bro, dude, if I got a free ghost every day, like if I just like had 365 ghosts, you know, for the entire day, every video I make, like I'm sitting here, I would literally purposely have a can of ghost in the background like i literally would just to promote it because like i love ghost man 
So if you guys were legit, I'm all all for the free advertisement. Or not free, but like cheap advertisement, technically. I mean, 365 cans of Ghost is what? Like, dude, what? 50 cents a can, probably, if that? Oh, my favorite non-collab? Um, orange cream. If you're saying favorite non-collab, orange cream for sure. I love Ghost, man. I mean, Ghost is my favorite energy drink. I mean, it. I'm getting a little used to it these days, I can tell. But, like, for the longest stretch there, like, I started, like, last October, or last August drinking it. I mean, it does its job, man. It tastes damn good. You know, it's enough caffeine doesn't make me feel terrible like there was a couple times like early on like i would get carried away and i'd drink the entire thing in 10 minutes and like sure man you feel like garbage after you know but um if you just like again like for a while there, like i'm just like i'm a slow sipper on them you know i i do a you know slow sipper for like two hours three hours at a time and it's like it works perfect uh see you trevor man have a good night yourself thanks for uh stopping by Uh, Rex fan says me and my brother are saving for the $650 price tag on the vendor and we still need about 500. Oh, well, this thing's take a long time. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's no, no, uh, you know, small, uh, you know, fee, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, again, I was very fortunate, you know, that I was able to take off quite a bit of money, like with VIP points with it. Uh, you know, sure. I mean, very fortunate. I could afford it either way, but I've been saving a handful of my VIP points like for a purchase like this, and it made perfect sense. Like honestly, and that's kind of what I use my VIP points, my VIP po points for are, are sets that like I just need day one, like the bigger ones. Like I got my 2021 Tumblr for free, uh, the UCS one, uh, the the UCS gunship I used all my points for, got it for free. Uh, I took 300 bucks off of this. Like, yeah, double VIP is coming up, man. What's oh, what's up, David? What's going on, man? Are you still in, uh, still across the seas, man? You've been there for a while, bro. Been there for like, what, like two weeks? I mean, it's been at least two weeks, right? I could have swore I saw most of you guys like go out that way like two weeks ago. Damn, currently on your flight right now. What what time is it? See, now that's 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 crazy to me. I mean, are you flying? Are you are you on your flight across the ocean right now, or are you like doing like domestic flights, like in in Europe or whatever, or what? Because I mean, that must be pretty crazy. How long is the flight? If it is over the ocean, how how long is the flight? Yeah, the new T6 is at Costco. People are finding it for uh, like 30% off or like 25% off. Uh, Denmark to Germany and then, and then back to home. Six hour time difference. Damn. Six hour time difference. That's crazy. Nine-hour flight back to Washington, D.C. So, how, so David, out of 10, out of 10, how would you rate your entire trip? With no no rookie scores. I want, I want the decimal point. I, I want to know, was it a 9.2? Was it an 8.4? How would you rate the entire trip? Uh, Jeremy, heading to bed, sent you a DM on Insta. Heck yeah, man. I'll check it after, uh, after the stream. Great stream as always. Have a good night. You too, man. Uh, Target price matches Costco. Do they really? That's interesting. If Costco, if Target really does price match Costco, that's interesting because then, you know, that's a very easy way to get some, some T sixes. 
7.5 really oh my like dave it seemed like you were having a blast out there oh okay got sick mid uh yeah mid trip damn that so so you got sick in the middle of the trip but like you recovered while you were still out there that's interesting that's Honestly, I don't think too many people can say they, they've been on a vacation that long where they can say, yeah, I had a fun a fun week beforehand, then I got sick, and then I had a fun couple of, like That's pretty amazing, man, that you can get sick on the vacation and still have a fun time before and after. Yeah, meet the CEO is 10 out of 10, yeah. So, so, so David, you'd probably know more than that. I mean, so so the, the CEO now... Is what the did I read it right on the internet? Is it the is it the grandson of the original CEO, or did I read that wrong? Or is that who it is? Or is that like what his like relationship is with the uh, with the company? Uh, Aaron says, damn, I'll take a trip and get sick midway through, then slay for Amazon every day. No, no, he's not a family. Okay, I must I'm, I must have read that wrong. Okay, so he has no relation. Yeah, not a family member. Okay, okay. I'm curious, David, is there a, uh, just like last year, is there going to be a uh, in-person interview with anyone on your channel again or no? Because the thing is, like last year, for what it's worth, like that was a pretty damn good interview. And, like, sure, I understand, like, kind of the stakes of the whole thing. Like, I get it. But, like, there were some – and, like, sure, some of the answers are kind of whatever, you know, corporate. But, like, I, I really did like that inter interview last year you did, you know, with the three of them. Is there another one of those coming this year with some of the, the modern-day questions for them? I really hope David says yes, man. I, I would love, I mean, to get a 30-minute interview. Let's see. Wasn't his grandson CEO like 50 years ago? Maybe. I don't Maybe that's where I read it. Maybe I got mixed up. Maybe, maybe at one point one of the CEOs was his grandson. Maybe. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see. I did like seven interviews. Uh, LOL. Sadly, no one-on-one -on -one Star Wars interview. Did have a chance to express community concerns though. So seven interviews with who? I mean, can you at least like are they other are they from other themes or just other people in the Lego group? Or like can you like maybe hint at like even one of them? Like I understand if you don't want to like reveal all the cards yet, but are, I mean, are you able to say? I mean, are you able to say like what their answers were to something? Because like, I mean, sure, I saw like the brick fanatics thing. Um, I was curious. I mean, was it all of you guys there at the same time, though? Like, because I saw some of those things come out. Like, there was, like, five or six different, uh, like, quote, like, responses that, you know, talking about the the CMF bags, the waste cape, the, like, environmental-friendly plastic. Like, um, I saw those. Were, were all of you guys in the same room for that? Like, was that, like, so, like, did you hear that the same time, like, Brick Fanatics made their thing about it? Or did you talk like, did you have like different times when like you could like, you ask someone about like the waste cape separately and like, like a different answer or was it all the same, all the same grouping? Uh, there was a Star Wars community chat. Okay. See now that's interesting as heck, but there's no live recording of that or, or no physical recording of that. Or how long was it? Can you say anything about it? Like, is there anything, anything else interesting out of that? Um, Ostiff says, couldn't fall asleep, so I'm turning or tuning in for a good. Ostiff says, couldn't fall asleep, so I'm tuning in again for a tad. Heck yeah. Yeah, like, so I'm going till the end of this bag. Probably end up being about another 30, 40 minutes. So I guess if you uh, can't fall asleep for another 30, 40, I'll be here for you. Oh, shout out to the Beyond right here. Thank you for the $10 holler, man. Uh, no message, but actually right below. Never mind. Uh, they say, so nice that you do these kinds of streams. I've enjoyed this channel for a while. Thanks for everything. Heck yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the $10. Uh, yeah, I love doing these streams too. At the end of the day, it's just a fun time. 
And I've always said, you know, the, the whole purpose of doing these live streams is genuinely just, a, you know, sure. In the title, I put, you know, building the Venator, you know, but like it truly does come down to like the discussions and the conversations I have with people. Like, you know, it's just nice to be able to sit here for a couple hours and just like instead of like DMing or YouTube comments, like it's fun being able to, you know, talk about just stuff. And re really, really quickly, just before David, uh, David's heading off. Good chat. Heck yeah, Dave. Thank you for stopping by, man. Thank you for dropping some of those little hints right there. Sadly, it doesn't seem like too much stuff will ever come out publicly. But nonetheless, I'm glad at least you voiced some concerns. But anyway, man, thank you, man. Have a safe flight home, everything like that. Um, you know, get good sleep and everything, bro. Uh, thank you for uh, stopping by, man. And then really quickly to the Beyond. Before anything, let's see what Bobby has to say about it. There we go. The ten dollar holler gets beyond a hey hey. Thank you, man. What's up, Mr. Fives? Heck yeah, yep, yeah, Babu. All right, there we go. I caught up on the chat a little bit. I think I read everything of uh, importance. Uh, what is Brick Fanatics? Uh, comes across as Lego itself will not be in. Uh, Brick Fanatics is just an online like blog. You know what I'm saying? It's just like an online online website, uh, online blog. Um, they pretty much just post. I mean, it's just a website. It's just like a news website. It's pretty much just like an Instagram account, like YouTube channel, like all mixed in one, you know? But of course, all, uh, you know, non-video form, all just uh, text form. Um, Art says, I've been wanting the MTT for my collection. Should I buy the 2014 one or wait for a remake soon? I, at this point, I would truthfully wait for a remake. I mean, the MTT definitely seems like something they like doing. I mean, there are some vehicles that like, you know, ARC 170s, V-Wings, MTTs, you know, gunships, ATTs, like there, there's quite a few Star Wars vehicles, even like ATAPs, droid gunships, corporate lines, tank droids. Like there's quite a few vehicles in Star Wars that like uh, Lego pretty clearly, you know, has made more of an effort to like make one every certain amount of years. It seems like like Lego doesn't follow that pattern stuff like we kind of thought they did for a while, like too much. But um, the MTT definitely seems like something that like would be on their radar to like make in a reasonable amount of time after the other one. So last one, 2014, one before then was 2007. One before then was what, 2001, I think. So it's like, you know, every six, seven years, you know, sure. 2021 should have been the year, but I would assume at some point in a year or two, we're going to be getting, we're, you know, another MTT. That just makes kind of sense. It seems like Lego kind of likes that vehicle. So, but, but it's also like, like, literally i mean you know to kind of again this is just for anyone like not to like knock your question in particular but you really kind of have to think about it in the fact of like i mean with anything i mean you, you i mean you truly never know when something new is going to come out like a remake or anything so it's like you kind of have to like play your cards right like if you really badly want an mtt you know say you I don't know if you're looking to buy it sealed or used. I mean, I know sealed ones of the 2014 are like 500 bucks. Like you probably get a used one for maybe 200, maybe a little under 200. So like, it's kind of like, uh, you know, say a new retail one, maybe 150, you know, and say you pay 200 for an old one. If a new retail one comes out two years from now and like, say there's like a $50 difference. It's like, you have to kind of like play your cards right and to think of like, I mean, was that $50 worth it? for you to own that vehicle that like you want for those like say extra two years before the new one comes out like that's something that like i've always kind of asked people to think about a bit you know there's obviously like you know once you start getting into like the multi five seven hundred dollar like differences it's a little bit different but like when you're on like kind of like the macro ish scale of like maybe a hundred dollars or, or under like is it worth your happy is, is it worth your enjoyment to have your figure or set that you want for that extended amount of time, even if a remake happens. You get what I'm trying to say there? Does that make sense? Did I make any sort of sense there? 
or am I just speaking and zelling gibberish? Um, I like the Rogue One ATSC the best. Uh, Ostif up here asked, um, any tips for good sleep, bro? No. Believe me, dude, my, my sleep is atrocious, man. I mean, the only thing I can say, Ostif, and like it helps, I don't know if it actually like helps or not, like in the grand scheme of things, but I watch a, uh, a YouTube channel called Internet Today. Uh, Ricky and Elliot over there. I've been watching them seriously, man. For, I mean, dude, I remember I was in fifth grade, fifth grade, bro. Um, watching them and I've pretty much watched every, they're, they're a news channel. You know what I mean? Like, like a, a real life, like just talking about in, in real life news and stuff. Um, and I've been watching them forever and it's like for the longest time there. And like, I still do like their voices are just like so used to my brain that I feel like it mellows me out where you're not in a bad way since I always go back and rewatch the videos, you know, the parts that like I, I fall asleep during, but I always turn them on dude to fall asleep at night. And I feel like it makes me fall asleep faster. Uh, that would be another one of those like 2025, I'd think. I think like 2025, either for the Palpatine scene or even like when Ark you know, a lot of stuff in 2025, it really will tell us. It's like they've got so many sets to do for, you know, Revenge of the Sith and so many things to make. Well, okay, well, well, Derek, see, on one hand, I would agree with that. But on another hand, like, it's just the truth of it. Like, during these streams, is a little bit different because, like, I'm more kind of focused on the chat over here. And, but, like, I'm still slowly sipping them. But, like, if I'm, like, working throughout the day, first off, like, it's in the morning. And second off, like, I drink, like, a lot of water throughout the day. I mean, I know it's a hypocrite since I haven't taken a sip of this water yet. But um, I, I don't think it's the energy drinks. I, because, like, I mean, my sleep's been atrocious for years. Like, honestly, and I can tell this for a damn fact, and I'm starting to believe it more than ever. And, like, it's to the point where, like, I need to kind of mellow it down a bit or possibly get some, like, blue light glasses or something. It's all the damn screens and lights I look at every day. I know for a fact that's what's affecting my sleep. It's, like, because I'm to the point where, like, I can't even fall asleep. Like, probably eight times out of ten, I can't even fall asleep unless there's, like, pressure on my forehead or like eyes you know what i'm saying like I, I can't just like lay back and fall asleep like i've got to like put my head into something or like put my arm over my eyes you know something like that and like a sleep mask doesn't work because like there's no pressure so so genuinely i mean it, it's i know for a fact it's all these screens and lights i look at it, it's effed up my, my you know my eyes and my, my head and stuff which is terrible since i'm you know only 22, but I got to look into like blue light glasses, man. can't breathe at that point rex fan i'm not doing a giveaway tonight no so if, if you're gonna look, look I'll, I'll make a prediction you want to talk you want to talk about a, tw a, tw uh, a prediction i'll make a prediction that in the next 120 seconds i'll even I, i'm gonna guess in the next 30 seconds that rex fan is gonna say he's, he's heading out for the night after i said there's no giveaway tonight how much you, i'll bet a million dollars rex fan is is gonna say he's heading out in the next 60 seconds entwined i'm on bag two or two and three i'm on bag uh two and three you had to pour out both at once uh but i'm on page 66 uh step number 80.
Uh, what? So what's everyone else building? Yeah, that's a good question, man. What's everyone else building tonight? What's everyone else building? Uh, Nathan says, I'm I'm sure you've answered this, but I'm curious of the 2024. Uh, yeah, they got helmet holes, 100%. It it's going to be the exact same shock trooper from the gunship, and the phase two clones will have, or the white clones will have uh, helmet holes too. Aaron's building the UCS ATAT, uh, and Twine's building ambush on Ferrix. How are you liking the ambush on Ferrix? Uh, Han Solo says, Hi, my guy. What's up, uh, Han Solo? Micro builds. Um, AAT, which one? Uh, are, uh, I'm building a 2014 ATAP. Damn, you guys are building some interesting stuff. Uh, T6 shuttle, which one? Uh, new one, I would assume. UCS ISD, of course. Yeah, Seattle. Uh, just opened up bags 11 and 12. Seems like it's going to be another theme for the vendor. Anthony, are you the one? Anthony, are you building the Venator? You are building the Venator? Packing up Brickling. You, oh, you, you run a Brickling sword, Jake? The weirdest era I've had. Got 11 sticker sheets. Damn. Hoff ATST. Tweaking my mock turbo tank. Wait, what was the question? What is what is everyone building uh, tonight? 2009 AAT. Love the ambush. Heck yeah. New T6, 50 bucks at Costco. Hell yeah. Building the Venator. So what? I oh, Bags 12 and 13 are uh, opening at the same time too. I must be the only viewer building nothing. Awesome is building the vendor. Actually, hey, just to make Shreddy feel better, is anyone else in the chat not building anything? Is anyone else not building nothing? Oh my God, Jake, I forgot. The, the misprint Greedo. I 100% forgot that. Yep, 100%. 100%. And actually, oh, dude, I don't have it. It's on the other side of the basement. I could have shown it. Yep, 100 misprint Greedo. Uh, Dan's been modifying my Eldorado with parts purchased from a certain somebody's Brickling store. Hell yeah. I don't, but again, as always, man, thank you, Dan. I mean, truly. Like I said, I mean, a lot of you guys in the chat, I mean, and a lot of people know who they are type of thing. I mean, there's been a very good group of people, you know, these past seven, eight months that, uh, you know, it just but fundamentally, I appreciate, you know what I mean? Just from every aspect. I mean. Again, whether it's a brick link order, whether it's, uh, you know, liking all the videos, leaving a comment on every, like, again, monetarily or not, like, it's just the, the truth of it. I mean, a lot of you guys that are like, again, here, every live stream, you know, every comment section, like, you know, it, it's just, I, I mean, it truly, I mean, it's just like, you know, on one hand, I appreciate the support on a baseline level of just like, I appreciate, you know, the, you know, the support, but like, there's also just like, damn bro like i mean we can actually like catch up you know for a while there it was like you know again twice a week once a week and it's like it's gonna get back into it but like we can actually catch up you know see what's up with each other have a good time and you know kind of know some of the inside stuff you get what i'm saying like i just it's, it's cool you know you know like it's i'm like I'm, I'm always happy to see new people here too you know because everyone obviously has to like start at like their first stream or whatever and like hopefully it catches on to like the fact of like you know, people go to more of them, but like, truly, I mean, it's always nice to see familiar faces. I mean, you know, as a, I can't speak for everyone, but like as someone that's like, I guess does social media, I guess, like and a fact of this, like creates content, like truly, I mean, I don't think there's any better feeling than like seeing the same familiar face multiple times, like amongst everything. You get what I'm saying? Because it's just like, it, it just, I don't know. I feel like it means, it means like just a lot personally, even. You know, the fact that like, yeah, we're all just chilling here on, and, and most of us are building stuff. You know, of course, Shreddy's not building nothing, but most of us are all building Lego and that's really what it is. I mean, sure. I'm the one live streaming, but like all of us are just putting some damn bricks together tonight. And that's, that's pretty cool. Everybody but Shreddy.
Yeah, man, the guys over at ACOB, great people, dude, for sure. Great people, man. Always a fun stream over there. I just love how it's just 100%, 100% real, 100% chill. You know, just no, no corporate shenanigans over there, man. Just real and raw and just fun time. And that's what I try to bring up. Like, I will tell you this. I mean, truly, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, the only thing I can confidently say that, like, I've, like, change but like honestly it's almost kind of like natural these days because I've, I've i've tried to step back a little bit is uh just kind of like tune the cursing out a little bit like in these streams like even in the videos i never really curse like in videos obviously but like you know when i'm doing live streams it's a little bit more like okay like you know unedited raw um but just in general i feel like just i've tried to keep that down a bit but like that's really kind of like the the one thing that i can maybe say to myself like oh like i can tell at some points you know not cussing changing myself a bit like whatever but it is what it is but you know other than that i mean i'm just me you know all right see you han solo man appreciate you thank you anthony i would say yeah what what is acob at like i said i think i think getting uh um I think getting 55 subs, I don't know, but let's see where they're at. Yeah, everyone be sure to subscribe to ACOM. Well, Han Solo, it's more, I, I forgot. It's, we're going to be catching some, uh, some non-USA people here. So Han Solo, it's morning for him. Have a good day, man. Have a, have a good morning and have a good rest of your, your, what would it be? Sun or Saturday, Saturday for you. Have a great Saturday, man. Yeah, Randy, I'm bringing back uh, top tens and stuff. Like, I I, I want to bring back the uh, the expensive minifigure series too. And my biggest thing with that is I want to all of them that I made last year, you know, around this same time. I wanted to do another one, you know, like I wanted to do the same video as this year, but take take the exact same figures, you know, the exact same like ten figures and do a 2023 update and like truly see where the prices of that fig went within a year so that's i thought that would be a pretty interesting way to do it like you know say you know max rebo was like 80 bucks this time last year and like now he's like 120 it's like i think it would be pretty interesting to see like what figs are going up you know what has gone down what stayed the same so that, that's definitely something i want to bring back Uh, the Brickling store name is, you can just Google it. Uh, like literally just, just type it in on the internet and it should be the first thing that pops up. Uh, any brick then. Have, have I got any of the dream sets? I have not. Uh, besides the poly bag, I got the little five dollar poly bag uh, from him. But um, dream sets wise, really the only thing that does anything for me is that Pegasus set. Uh, I would probably get that Pegasus set if I found it on clearance, but that's about it. Um, Dreams doesn't really do much for me. Uh, yo, Randy Piper, man, that's the million dollar question. Like literally, I mean uh my, my my biggest thing on something like that is like dude the usa laws like again i'm not a mexico expert like i don't know their you know their legal system over there at all but i think just it is factual that like the, the legal system in mexico is like a little bit more lenient or like easier to get away with stuff like maybe i'm wrong who knows but uh i think in, a, in the usa like if there's actual like criminal activity taking place where it's like Again, maybe the reason why Lego can't step in, like, because it's not illegal in Mexico. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like, and Lego doesn't want to step in to like officially, like maybe they're, you know, the biggest question I have with like, with all this is like, are they making the U S factory to like fully phase out the Mexico factory? Because like, again, in Mexico, maybe like they're, 
you know, they kind of need that factory. Like they don't want to burn bridges with employees and stuff like that and like have everyone quit. So they kind of let that stuff go on. And like Mexican government, like that's not illegal to them. So like, Me like they're not going to step in from like a legal standpoint. So there's nothing they can really do. But like, are they going to phase that factory out when the Virginia factory opens? Because at that point, I would assume USA law is way more strict about uh you know that type of stuff i would assume so maybe that um i don't know see i mean see that's the thing and i don't mean to like i got that question too sometimes seattle uh you need old direction though um no i mean the, the thing is i mean i don't think people understand like a lot of the stuff that gets like say remade or re-released unless it's like super inflated there's not like it's always going to be unique stuff at the end of the day like it might the, the biggest thing that might happen to an older thing that gets remade or, or re-released is like the the sell-through rate and the interest levels go down of course you know so the sell-through rate of the old captain rex at say like 250 will probably be a little bit less so like in turn maybe you might see a few more people you know try to get it down to like, maybe they maybe they'll listen for 230 instead just to like try to sell it a little bit quicker because like people aren't as interested in it but like it's just the truth of it like that old rex is not gonna ever go down to 50 bucks it just won't you know sure unless unless mexico somehow made a hundred thousand rexes of the 2013 one then sure but it just doesn't work like that like i've yet to see and, and if, I, if i'm wrong someone correct me like i I've, I've yet to see an older thing that got remade or like re-released like fundamentally go down to like nothing in value that's my take on it um they most likely keep the mexico factory to keep a higher profit margin unless the u.s is all automated well, that's a good point too. I mean, hundred percent. I, I can get that, you know, behind that point too about the Mexico factory. Yeah. Uh, the buy on, uh, all right, I got to head out. I'll try to join more uh, live streams soon. Heck yeah. Thank you for that super chat earlier. I really do appreciate it. It goes a long way. Uh, thank you for stopping in here for, you know, 20, 30 minutes, whatever it was. And um, yeah, have a good night, man. Have a great weekend and hope to see you in more live streams. All right, we need four of these. Uh, how many missing parts requests do you think have been made for the... That, that's a good point, Randy. I, I, I really do wonder. Um... I was thinking about that earlier. There's, and again, I know the average customer support guy is not going to know, but like the thing is, man, those people that, you know how like that one thing that came out the other day, like, and like they officially kind of said that like there is someone that like sits online all day and like checks for leaks and stuff. Like you're about to tell me again, maybe like the CEO guy doesn't know or like, you know, Jens himself doesn't know, like, sure. But like, that that computer guy dude that sits on the computer all day on instagram youtube and all that like is it does he not know that like th th has he not personally realized you know i'm sure i feel like more i feel like a lot more people in the company know about the mexico factory scandal thing but like at least knowing about like the the captain rex pauldron thing okay about how like all these rexes are out there with no pauldron you know from mexico I 100% believe the fact there's probably been 500 requests in the past week, you know, for a, a missing uh, pauldron. I don't advocate for that. I'm not going to do it. But it's like, uh, so you would kind of assume like if that, like, how do you know which is real or not? I, you know, and from like Lego standpoint, like if that online computer guy all day, like straight up says to like, you know, one of the, the, the like, like the, the, one of the, you know, uh, financial dudes at Lego, like, look, like, dude, these these people are getting these figs from Mexico. Like these guys ain't missing a pauldron. Like they just bought it with no pauldron type thing. It's like, 
Sure, sure. A paper, you know, the, the pauldrons probably cost them a genuine, you know, a penny, uh, probably a penny. You know, if they send out 500 to people, it's like, you know, five bucks. But like the principle of it. But I don't know. It's, it's tough. I would definitely assume there'd be, there's probably a thousand of them, you know, so far this week. I, I do uh, black pauldrons. No, I've got uh, cloth waist capes, though. Uh, Rex fan. Mexico's not Venezuela. You don't go to jail for charging. Uh, yeah, so that's what I mean. I mean, I would assume Mexican law. Mexico law is probably way less strict. Uh, just because the pauldrons weren't be able, you know, weren't able to get uh, got from the factory early. Oh, that's actually true, Randy Piper. I forgot. That is true. They do. I think they do require that stuff now still. And Rex, Rex fan, I, but the Venator I've got like 5,000 more pieces to go. I'll be able to give you the the rating of it next week. Uh, so far, it's just a bunch of Technic goobly glob. So right now, man, like a one out of 10. I'm sick of Technic. Yeah, Rex, man, they're going, they're going for 10 plus, man. New condition, ne never put on a fig. They're getting scarce, man. 10, 10, 11, 12, 13. I mean, they're getting, they're getting scarce. Yo, so, wait, with the voice of Kid Fisto? So what, the one that played him in Clone Wars? But he's not the same one from the movies, right? Right, Austin? Yo, Randy, the only time I ever... the Honestly, the only time I ever, like, took advantage of him... But, like, like I kind of thought of... Like, once I did it once, and I was, like, 14 at the time, was I bought... Or not bought it, but I, I sent in a request for 2013 501st helmets. Because it's just, like, you know, sure. You know what I mean? It's like, you want more clone helmets, 501st at the time... I put it in like a request, like I was missing like three of them, dude. And like they sent all three of them. And I don't know, man. I just, I, I, even at that young of an age, I just didn't feel right. Like, you know what I mean? I just didn't feel right doing that. And like, sure, you heard about like even 10 years ago, like the ramifications, like if you're effing around with them type of thing. But these days, I mean, I, I, I just, I don't advocate for it. I mean, I, I, I just, it, I just fundamentally like just don't, it's not right. And, and, and even then, it's like, as much as, like, you know, I have some, like, disparities, like, with the Lego group, like, I'm still not here to, like, I, I don't feel entitled to take a a, a penny waste or a penny pauldron from. Although, again, from a literal sense, I mean, those pauldrons are technically, like, $200 now because, you know, Rex's with no pauldron are going for, like, 50 bucks, and Rex's with pauldrons are going for, like, 250 so that pauldron is technically like 200 bucks, but I just, I don't know. I mean, for, again, sure. I mean, knowing me, I'd get arrested for it or some shit. And I mean, there goes Tyler type thing, but also it's just like, I just don't advocate for it. It's just, it's not, not morally right. I, I got my couple free 501st helmets back in the day and that's that. But I mean, even then, I'm like, I'm fortunate enough, like, unless it's like a unique piece, but like, if I'm building a brand new sealed set and like say something really is messing, like, I'm fortunate enough where I've got, you know, my Brickling store and my personal collection where I can just go get the piece myself, like, instead of wasting time, you know, getting it from Lego. Um, Austin, let's see, did you say, did you answer where the, uh, okay, the voice actor from Clone Wars. Sweet man, uh, what are you gonna so uh, have him sign my Fisto Sa Saber Hill? Uh, fun fact: I graduated from the same high school as Matt Lanter. Oh my god, that's incredible! He actually lives in some town near me and ran into him at Diavel's shop, local Italian shop. Did you get a picture with them? You have to have gotten a picture with them, man. Bro, see, and that's my dream too. Like, imagine I've said this forever, dude. You get the uh, dude. Look at that. You guys probably see that combo. It might be a little blurry, but I've got a uh, an Anakin the Episode Three Interceptor and a Clone Wars Anakin Starfighter. 
imagine having Matt Lanter sign the Clone Wars Anakin Starfighter and Hayden Christensen signing the Episode 3 Interceptor. OMG, man. Will that not be the, the sickest combo of all time? Uh, Evan Thompson, good night, Life Bricks. I'm going to watch some Clone Wars, then head to bed. Keep up the great content. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, man. I know, yeah. Same thing. I'm After this stream, I'm probably going to catch the Loki episode one. And then I'm going to go to bed, probably. Really nothing else to be up for. Uh, I, don't, I don't like building Lego when I'm, like, super tired either. And this ghost is about done. The thing is, yeah, the ghost is about done. The bag's about done. We're going on for three hours. Uh, I'm definitely going to chat with you guys. Like, believe me, uh, even if we get done with this in a couple minutes, we're going to do an easy 20, 30 minute, just like chill out, talk about stuff time. Um, but yeah, heck yeah, man. Evan, have a good night, man. I hope they'll make Rogue One sets, but I don't know about Solo. Um, Austin says, I did. We both live in the same town. I'm in Michelin or Maslin. So you, you have a picture with Matt Lanter just like on the street. That's incredible, man. Oh. You get him to sign anything. You, you get him to sign absolutely anything. Uh, what version of Peeves is on your Bricklink store? Uh, let me look really quick. I mean, it's whatever one is listed, right? You know I mean? I, I, I triple check everything before I list them. Um, unless, okay, let's see. All right. Peeves. Two variations of this minifigure have been found shown in the additional image. Oh, that's a good point. So I'm surprised they, wow. I didn't, they actually have that as the same listing. I'm surprised they wouldn't do a, a variation of it. Um, yeah, I didn't even realize they didn't do a variation. Uh, I can check really quickly for you. Let me see. I mean, I'll pull it up right here. Then I'll, then I'll run and go get it in a second. Let's see. Uh, Peeves, where's he at? He is in... Uh, David L., good night, Tyler. See you on the next one. I got to... Go do the day job tomorrow. Heck yeah, David. Um, I'll catch you on Monday, man, if you hop in the stream then. Uh, other than that, have a great day at work and a great weekend as well, man. All right, Peeves. All right, he's in 623. Let me go. Uh, what's going on, Timmy? Uh, Tyler, buy a weighted sleep mask with, like, beads on the inside. I've tried that. There's not enough pressure. It's all – she's on top. It's all about, like, literally, like, the fact of, like, I need to, like, physically put – pressure onto like my forehead and my eyes like not just the weight you know what i'm saying like i need to like put my head into my elbow like put my head into the pillow like that type of stuff uh to uh venator 75 percent done can't wait are you gonna finish it tonight yo austin if you run it like dude i mean you need to i mean well any anything is that but like Oh, dude, I'm about to, like, make... I'm about to, like, pay for... I'm about to, like, give you the money to, like, get a sealed Anakin Clone Wars one. Like, just for you to have. And the fact of, like, you know, I will buy it for you to have. But then, like, once you get it signed, you give it back type thing. Like, I'm about to do that, man. But anything, dude. You, like, oh, because, I mean, Matt Lanter, look. I mean, Hayden's obviously, like, Hayden's my Anakin. But, like, Matt Lanter's also, like, Anakin. Like, he is... He's him. He's also him. Uh, I personally don't, Randy. I, that's not something I've ever really looked into and, and cared about. Uh, look, really quickly, let me go check this Peeves really quick. Let me go grab this Peeves out of 623.
And honestly, thank you for uh, pointing this out since uh, I'm going to put it in the description, actually, which one it is now. Um, it is. All right. So if you are looking at the picture of the two on Bricklink. Um, it's the one on the left. Yeah. It's, if you're looking at the picture on Bricklink, it's the one on the left. The one with like the, the non, like the not as thick, uh, face print. Yeah. That's the one on the left down there, man. Yeah. So look, I'll tell you guys right here, man. And I'm curious to see what your guys' thoughts are. If you guys like, actually, let me go get them really quick. I'll be back and give me one more second. Give me, make a friend. All right. Everyone make a friend of the chat. I'll be back in one more second. So yeah, all right, so when I finished the Venator, I sourced quite a few of these to the US to, I know it's the Clone Wars Venator, sure. You know, even more so, it's got like the Resolute, dark red bridges, I get it. But the principle of like, imagine having Anakin and Obi-Wan's interceptors, uh, you know, the foil packs, you know, sure, a little bit big in scale, but just like how the Tantiv Four is on the side of the Star Destroyer, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put both of these on the side of the Venator, man. You know, have like the same little trans clear bar pieces sticking out, which I have in my store, and then hey, you know, put some of these on the side of them. So it's one of those things where look, might not be for everyone, but I think, I think having these two on the side of the Venator is for me. So I can't wait till I finish this. I'm gonna take a picture with these on the side and uh, see how people like it. You know. What do you guys think? Is that the move? Having the uh, the miniature starfighters on the side of the Venator? Is that the move or not accurate? You guys don't like it? Too big? What do you guys think? That's a good point, Jaden. That could work. I am. They're they're on my Bricklink store. I think they're like a little over nine bucks each. Which uh, USA sourced price get both at once. I mean that's basically that. Um, even if they're not on scale, they would look like the Starfighters are closer to you, so they would be big and the Venators far away. That's true, kind of. Yeah, I get what you mean there, perspective wise. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Heck yeah, Derek. That's, that's not too yeah. I mean, I think what they did with the the Tantive on the Star Destroyer. I mean, it's it's wonderful. I mean, you get you get what I'm saying. Uh, Rex fan, that's just the sale I'm running for the month. I'm just doing a. I usually like the thing is like I usually run like a like a 15, 20 percent off anyway. It's kind of like a baseline. Like again, the whole purpose of a store is to move stuff. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I'd rather put it a little percent off and just get stuff moving. You know, get the product in people's hands. Like. Again, the whole purpose of running the store is to put those pieces into other people's hands, not mine. You know, so it's like I'm running 30% off for the whole entire month of October just to like, yeah, just have, have a big month, increase the sales a little bit, get some brick that, you know, get the, get, the, get the brick to people that need it. You know, I don't need 500 dark turquoise two by four bricks. 
but you know i don't know you know sam sam from alaska might need them so i'll put them 30 percent off and boom sam can get them i don't need them doesn't do me any doesn't do me any good sitting in a bin man in my basement i'd rather people get the parts than need them And sure, I mean, of course, I'm not gonna again. I'm not gonna say I don't make money on those bricks still, but again, I'd rather move them for a little bit low over price, man, and keep stuff moving and get them in people's hands that need them, than and then price them too high and just keep them in the basement forever, you know. How long do you think the Venator will be on shelves? Uh, at least through, I mean, at least all of 2024 and all of 2025. Uh, not a lot of buyers, but like I've gotten plenty of orders from Alaska. Uh, what's going on, Sean? Uh, yes, I, I'm still rolling. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably go probably the same time, probably like a little under four hours, probably another 45 minutes tonight. Uh, also, Tyler, we can chat DM, but I'm down to do it for you. I'll be, uh, yeah, dude. I, I mean, look, look, I, I mean, let me know, like, look, I'll even send you mine. Like, I'll send you the one I have right now if it means you think you can get it signed by him. Like, holy bananas, man. Like, dude, if I can walk out, like, if I can, by the end of the year or something like that, I want a Matt Lanter signed Anakin's Clone War Starfighter. I mean, that would be top five thing in the collection. No, no, Rex fan. The, the what's gonna be on the shelf for three months is the uh, this. Hold up. Th this right here is what's gonna be on shelves only for three months. This this right here will only be at the Lego store for October, November, and December of 2023. Uh, what Lego leak do you think will mostly be true? Uh, well, the thing is, uh, Joshi, everything from my video today, like, is true. Like, the only, like, semi-speculation that I put into that video is uh, 75377. Um, you know, it's it's, it's uh, coming out March 1st, but it's just an unknown, like, what it is. And I just kind of made, like, a speculatory, like, I think it would probably be some spoiler set from Mando or Ahsoka. Other than that, everything else in that video is, like, the factual, like, set rumor list, you know? And, like, by rumor list, like, sure, I mean, like, we don't know the figs yet, like, that type of stuff. But, like, the actual the actual sets themselves, like, for the price points and stuff, like, are coming. All right, there's that. Okay, guys, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got 12 more pieces left. You guys know the drill. It's later in the night. It's already midnight, a little after midnight. You know, there's only 64 of you guys left, which I appreciate. We're, we're rolling deep. We're, you know, we're rolling late tonight. Uh, you guys know, though, I'm looking for 12 more likes to put these 12 pieces on. So we're, we're at 151. Okay, so every like here. Every additional like will be a, a piece added. So let's get these 12 pieces put on. Let's see how long it takes. So again, we're starting at 151. All right, so we're at 153. I'll put two pieces on, and that's perfect. The next step is two of these. So we'll go ahead and put these two on. All right, there we go. Thanks for the two likes. Uh, Austin said something up here. I'll ask my wife in the AM and get a definitive confirmation for you, but I'll keep extra, extra paper in the pocket. Heck yeah, man. 
I'm hoping we can work something out where I can just send you that Starfighter, though. You know, that'd be perfect. All right, so 153 was the last number. Let's hit it with a refresh on the phone. 156. So three more. Three more. Um, what in the hell is this? Oh my god, that completely tweaked me out for a second. I'm like, this next step doesn't make no sense. Uh, Seattle's heading out. Have a good night. Appreciate it, man. You as well. Thank you, Seattle. All right, let's see. So, wow, we're actually uh, doing some big connections here. Uh, Josh G, probably like the actual like least amount made out there. Probably the Christmas X-Wing. Um, there's also, I mean, Chrome Vader, of course, uh, Cloud City Boba. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say probably those three. All right, here we go. We got to do the big, big connection right now. Okay, I got to make sure I'm doing this right. That okay, that, that is that's satisfying. Have you guys heard that? That is satisfying. So many orange pins, bro. So many orange pins on this damn thing. All right, so let's check. Uh, we were at 153. So three, so there's three more pieces. So one, two, and three. Right. Yeah. All right. One, two, and three. So I need one, two, three, four, seven more likes. Uh, Chase, sorry, bro. I got to go chill stream tonight. We got to go get some autographs tomorrow night, everyone. Heck yeah, Chase. No, I, that's what I'm saying. You know, literally, it, it's, you know, we're already rolling 12, 12 at night. You know, heck yeah. I mean, I appreciate it to the 60, 60 people holding out but other than that i get people got stuff to do on the weekends you know all right hey two more likes came in two more likes let's get these pieces on let's get these pieces on no oh, i gotta pause that all right so this one goes up here right goes right there Who's my favorite alien Jedi? Uh, well, I mean Ahsoka, technically. Do you count Ahsoka? All right, so that was one piece. Now we got to get two more. Oh, no, it's just... Okay, yeah. It was just uh, two more likes. Okay, so I need... There's six more pieces left. So everyone that's in here, 56 of you guys. Six more likes. Six more likes, or I'm sitting here until... 36 hours from now. I know this is an extra piece, so I'll put it up here. All we got, we got a black plate, a couple, couple light bluish gray 2x4 plates, and a couple of these dudes. Thirty-six hours later, yeah. We're going till we get these uh, six likes. One more, one more light came in. So now I can put the original piece and this piece together. There we go. So four more likes, actually, four more. Hold it like a sword. That, that, honestly, this is a sword. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, stamp collector. Um, I like to. I like to see you all later. 
I got to be up at five in the morning. Heck yeah. St thank you, Stamp. Thanks for the like and uh, thanks for being around, man. One more like, it came in. So here we go. Yo, am I going bananas? Where do these pieces go? No, I just flipped through the instructions. Where do these last two go? Here, so if anything, let me put this on because I'm actually kind of worried now. Now the biggest debate, now the biggest thing of the rest of the stream is where do the two mystery two by four plates go? What in the absolute heck? What is going on tonight? No. Where do the two mystery plates go? Oh my gosh. If this takes any more than disconnecting a couple pieces, man, I'm going to be damn mad. So they go stack together and they go right there. Oh no. No. Those satisfying orange pins looks like they're coming out. Coming out. God, man. How annoying. Honestly, what I should do, I shouldn't take these all the way out just so I remember where they go, but. They go all right, right here. Yeah, I got to put them underneath these white things, man. Damn. Although, actually, hold up. What am I... This is confusing now, man. I don't even know what orange second pins I got to take out. All right, what am I actually... Bro. This is why, dude. You're... I mean, you are about to confidently tell me, dude, that kids... Like... Bro. Kids have... There's no shot. They have a harder time putting a cloth waist cape on than with this technic bullshit. There's no way. I don't believe it. All right, so let's flip this thing around. Okay, so these actually... So these all stay in. Okay. But now, how in the, f is this, what is going, oh my God, no. I gotta take all this off now too. All right, all right, let's see. Okay, so yesterday, or today's piece is here. Or no, yesterday's piece is here. All right, now how do I get... Oh, no. Oh, no, man. 
Uh, Ostif is heading out. Someone said goodnight, Ostif. Is, is he here now? Heck yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Ostif, man. Have a good night, man. Bro. I mean, what, maybe if I take this off? Well, hey, it looks like we're uh, restarting the entire stream, guys. So I can rebuild bag two and three. So, I mean, there's just no way to wedge it in there. Uh, Shreddy's heading out, too. Uh, see you, Shreddy, man. Yeah, this is why, yeah. Building on stream is not ideal. Bro. I'm actually, like, I'm really triggered right now. Really triggered. The fact that, like, this is actually going to be a hassle now. See, because I got to get the plates in between these white Technic L's right here. All right, Pasta said now. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm almost debating. Do I end the stream and deal with this off camera so, like, I can, like, Take my anger out, not on camera. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's let's call it. No, let's let's call it because this is gonna piss me off, and it's it's already after midnight. A lot of people are, uh... yeah. I'm I'm gonna get out of here. All right, I hate to cut it short. I hate to cut it short, but no, I'm gonna dip out for tonight. This uh... I'll get I'll hold if I can't get it in like if I can't get it in two minutes, I'm gonna give myself. It's twelve twenty two and a half. Hold up, hold up. If I don't get it by 1226, 1226, I'm officially out. If I don't get this fixed by then. Because I just really don't know what to do at this point. I'm serious. Like it's, it, I, it's almost to the point. I mean, do I really have to redo this entire thing? I mean, do I, do I legitimately have to actually take everything apart? All right, so the plates are in there. It's just now, how do I get it back? This is the mess we got now. The Venator, the Venator went from a one out of 10 to a zero out of 10, man. I'm officially triggered.
honestly, if anything, here, here, we'll do, uh, well, hey, let's do 10 more minutes of chat, but at three, at three and a half, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it. And then I'm, I'm going to put this back together off camera because I, I need to dial in and focus because there's a lot of stuff I had to take apart. So, hey, let's chat it up for the next nine. What do you guys got? Let's, uh, let's chat it up for the next nine. What's going on, everyone? Uh, my favorite to army build, I would say Clone Wars clones. Um, back in the day, I mean, I've got a big Genosis army or Genosian army. Uh, I used to army build a lot. Like I've got like 30 Umbarans, 30 Genosians, like 30 Wookiees. I mean, I would say like anything that's kind of more obscure is fun, but like nowadays, not really because like, it's just so easy to get them for so cheap from like Mexico. You know what I'm saying? But like, I would say at this current point, Clone Wars clones is like my easy favorite. And I would say my least favorite, I guess. Like my least favorite technically is the new 2020 box of boys BS clones. Uh, pretty good. Doing homework at 8.25 a.m. Damn, it's early for you. I've been doing Technic stuff since I was five. It's like, I just kind of, I look at this set right here and I'm just like, bro, come on. Like that, if anything, that article by Lego, the interview answer, it should have been, they shouldn't have said kids can't put waist capes on. I mean, they should have legitimately, like, well, actually, I take that back because waist capes are, it's just like, it's the technic, bro. Get the technic out of here. Uh, why is the Lego minifigure numbering system so bad on Bricklink or, or where else are you talking about, Antoine? Uh, Derek, what, honestly, what I think, yeah, no, no. Yeah, I, I had to do the shuttle one. Um, I did it on a separate video. I didn't even do it on, on stream because I was so stressed out. But honestly, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to order the the Brick Tactical printed versions. I'm going to order those and just use those off the bat. And then just keep the sticker sheet like no, like fresh and then just sell it you know, on Bricklink or whatever. Yeah, Trader. So, yeah, I, I mean, that's what I mean. Yeah, I mean, we can go on the whole Wayscape tangent. I mean, it is what it is. But 100%, yeah, I mean, Technic is harder than Waste Capes, like, in every degree. In every aspect, man. I will just ask before we close out here in a couple minutes. Um, I will just ask if everyone could leave a, a like on the stream if you have not. Uh, like I said, we're going to be getting out here in a couple minutes. If uh, you guys could all leave with a like, that'd be appreciated. Okay. Uh, link to the printed parts. Um, I don't know if I don't know if I can put a link. Um, but just go to just literally type in bricktactical.com, and it's on their homepage. And I think it's I think it's twenty five dollars. Um, they also give you like a, a waste cape for Rex and and Rex blasters. Like it is what it is. Like the one thing I can't say about Brick Tactical and like and truly, I mean, it is like one of my. I mean, I've known Payton for years, but, like, the fact that he does everything in-house, like, in his garage, like, everything home, home, you know, American-made type thing uh, with, you know, his own custom injection molding, his own, you know, printing, his own molding, like, it truly is just, like, it's, it's great quality stuff at the end of the day.
Um, will they make more Old Republic figures when when the game is remade? I have a feeling maybe they'll make a set. Maybe. But I, I my hopes aren't too high. But if they never remake that game and it never comes out, I 100% doubt it. Although, like I said, there is some Revan, like, hints and stuff from a Eurobricks guy uh, for next year. Uh, whether it's a set, a, a poly bag, uh, yeah, you, you know, I don't know. No one knows yet, but there's kind of a hint that we might get a Revan something. I was thinking maybe a Revan patch, a Revan patch next year for May 4th. Ahsoka final episode thoughts. Not what I wish it was. I think episodes four, five, and six were great. Uh, but I, I just don't like, I don't like how the show ended on the fact of like, just there's no conclusion, dude. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like you, you factually have to watch a different form of media to get any sort of conclusion to the story they were telling you in that show. So, so that's what, that's why I'm just not a big fan of, especially it's like, I, I kind of said this before and it's like the Mando versus self only been going on since 2019, but like Disney's been going on since 2015 force awakens. Like as much as like, you don't want to consider the sequels part of the Mando verse. Like, I mean, it, it, again, it just, it all comes down to the fact of everything. The Mando verse has to offer ends with the sequel. So, I mean, I classify 2015 as when they started the universe. You know what I mean? Like the post ROTJ timeline so to think that it's going to be like 10 11 12 13 years to like finally get some payoff and like a felony movie with like i don't know i'm just kind of getting like a little like sick of it in the regards of like i just feel like there's not enough and it's like after all these years still you're going to give us an ahsoka show that just like doesn't give us a satisfying ending like i don't know it's like any way you look at it, the same people that watch season one, we're going to watch season two, man. You don't got to leave us on a cliffhanger to watch season two. Well, I, I mean, technically, but I mean, I'm talking like post ROTJ. You know what I mean? I'm talking like post episode six where it's like, all of the sequels and Mando versus like in the same era, you know, Imperial Remnants moving to the first order, Snoke, Palpatine to return, like all of that, like Rebel, Rebel, Rebels, like again, first off was just great media. And second off, like it was a Clone Wars, like it filled in gaps and it filled in stories between OT times. And it's like, you know, that was, uh, you know, not like, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it wasn't post ROTJ. Uh, super tactical droids are great, man. I love their design. Such such a badass design. Bro, I want the Yuzong Vong to show up, bro. I don't I don't want Abeloth. I don't want Rakadans. I don't want the Zepho. Give me the Yuzong Vong, man. Give me the Yuzong Vong. Like, I want... Dude, in the Filoni movie, I want Yuzong Vong, Darth Talon, Darth Maul. Uh, you know, throw me Luke. Throw me Thrawn. Throw me... Uh, throw me everybody, bro. E everybody, but... I, I want everybody but Sabine there. night sister magic entwined the thing is i'm just people are speculating it's like george originally wanted like darth maul and darth talon for george's seven eight and nine so what i'm thinking and people are speculating i mean with all the dathomir stuff involved i mean is is dave actually trying to set up and for his movie you know if they make it a trilogy especially or is he trying to bring back darth maul darth talon 
you know, for the next era of movies. I mean, like like George originally envisioned. That'd be nuts. Would be bananas, man. Yeah, but Antoine, I mean, but but Dave is so close with George. I'm, I'm saying, is Dave trying to do that to, in retrospect, kind of honor George's original sequel trilogy because Dave is Dave and Dave and George had their relationship. And George's 789 were being talked about, written, probably discussed with Filoni even, you know, back during the early 2010 days. And yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree 100%. Sabine is... Dude, Sabine is not the same character. I, oh my god! Like it, it's it's one thing it's one thing, man, to throw like a Riva into a show and just like have like a brand new written character that like you get what I'm saying. It's kind of like yeah, you know, you kind of throw her in there, you write her bad, you, you try to include a, a, a BS character, and it is what it is. But the fact that like they even screwed up Sabine, which was an already established character for four seasons of a show, that like. She was never annoying in the show, from what I remember. Like, sure, maybe a couple times. Little little dramatic, you know. But, like, in the show... Dude, in the Ahsoka show, man. Damn, man. I mean, she... I can't stand her. Squid Man, dude. I take it. Give me, give me a Dave Filoni season 12, man, of The Walking Dead. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. All right, guys, does anyone have any final conclusion thoughts? Does anyone have any final, final things? Then we're going to go on and skedaddle. And then I'm going to go up, take like a 10-minute break, and then come back down and reassemble this damn mess that happened. Honestly, the final things I want to ask here really quick. Uh, Alex, I think tonight was pretty good. I mean, we we got a lot of... Pro we got two whole bags done until I realized I effed up. Uh, had some good discussion about uh, 2024 stuff. Good discussion about the Ahsoka show. About other stuff. And I mean, overall, I, I gotta say, I mean, this was a pretty nice... Pretty nice stream. You know, a little bit more laid back on a Friday. You know, I started a little bit later. You know, it was you know, a, lot, a lot more laid back. And um, I'm not going to finish all of it off camera, but what I will do over the weekend, I'm going to do like, you know, a, a lot off camera, you know, so I, hopefully I don't mess up, but I'll be back on Monday or Wednesday and we're, we're going to be doing two or three streams next week still uh, building this. And then of course I'm going to stream like after that, you know, like just normally, but um, yeah. Well, see, Jane, that's a good point. I mean, so I don't know. I'll have to kind of look to see where that ends. I mean, let's see what the end of bag, or let's see what the end of booklet, holy shit, dude. All, oh my God. All of booklet one, man. Basically all of booklet one is just the Technic BS. Yeah, so I might have to grind out book one over the weekend and come back and, as Jane said, just do like the paneling and do like the regular bricks then. All right, guys, so I think I'm out of here. Okay, I think I'm out of here. I'm going to go catch a break. Uh, I'm going to watch Loki tonight and uh, get a good night's rest. I mean, I got all the work I had to get done this week. I mean, I will say I'm proud of myself for a pretty successful week, uh, Brick Lincoln YouTube-wise. Um, you know, YouTube videos are back. Big shout out to everyone for the one out of 10 on the video today. Uh, you know, look, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, after taking a whole month off of YouTube and only uploading like two things, you know, it definitely, it took a hit, you know, when I, I, when I returned there, you know, the videos were underperforming a little bit, you know, about 20%. And uh, to get a one out of 10 today, I mean, it means a lot. So uh, thanks everyone for the support today. Um, weekends or videos over the weekend. I'm thinking, tom I don't know what tomorrow's video will be, but Sunday I want to do a video going over uh, the, 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 the value of Captain Rex and the value of that Venator promo, man. That Venator promo is going crazy. If you guys got that Venator promo, just know 
maybe hold on to that thing for a little extra longer, man. That thing is creeping up in price. So I want to do a video talking about that then. And then I, in general, I'm just, I'm glad to be back on YouTube. You know, I, I truly am. Like I'm to the point where, you know, again, I was doing it. You know, I, I got a little burnt out, you know, many different reasons why I kind of took a little break there, but you know, I can confidently say like, it has felt good talking to the camera again, you know, for these past couple of days, it's, it's, it's really felt good for a change. Like for a while there, it was really kind of starting to feel like, all right, talk to the camera, get a little redundant, upload, blah, blah, blah. But like it's felt good. So, uh, the, the Fox video will be coming out too. I've got the thumbnail made. Um, that will be sometime throughout the week. I want to do a video talking about Jason Sandula. Uh, will he be the next black hair Canaan? find out in that video that i make and uh yeah so truly thank you everyone for the support this week uh this is like my first official week back on youtube and um it was good it was fun we had a couple of good streams here a lot of a lot of familiar faces some new people here videos doing halfway decent and genuinely i want everyone to have a fantastic weekend i'll be back here on monday or wednesday and that's that so I'll catch you guys all then. Thank you guys. I'll do one last Babu for the road. One last Babu for the road. Let's see. One, one last Babu for the road. Yep, as good as ready. And Tyler is also ready to go grab a bite to eat and watch Loki. So uh, truly, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys all, all on Monday stream. Have a great weekend. We'll catch back up then. And hopefully I don't mess up more of this. All right, guys. Stay safe. Bye, everyone. Right, I messed it up. Hold up. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys. Stay safe.